You're listening to Living Podcariously, bringing you real men's perspectives, unfiltered, unapologetic, and uncensored. Recorded live in the Living Podcariously studio in world famous Cocoa Beach, Florida. Living podcariously, Zach. We have a hell of a studio this week, buddy. We do. I'm oh <laughs> just saying. God. This is it's a been con- a while since we have this many people in here. C- controlled chaos a little bit. Um, I'm one of your hosts. My name is Adam. Sitting next to me, I am Tack. Sitting across in the wrong spot, all the way on the other side. Oh, I'm Andrea Joy. In the usual spot, I'm Jay Alvarez. All right, and we've got a few guests in studio with us this week. Uh, first off the bat, let's introduce for a special interview that we're going to do later in the show, Mr. Connor Hughes. <sighs> Hey, what's up? Oh. He's, he's an old friend. He's I so timid. Him. I, I feel like I have to at least do this once while I'm here. And it's, okay, let's do it. He touched my penis with his penis. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. old school. That's from the old show oh, days. I, I use that intro as one of the, that clip as one of our intros to one of our episodes. Nice. But um, I feel bad because we have girls in the studio. Yes, we do. And I feel like they've been getting ignored. I feel like they're the safest people in the studio right now. (laughs) (laughs) And I gave them my lady chase, so let's hear it for the girls. That's right. Sitting on our lady chase tonight is, we're going to go with Daisy tonight. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah. Hey, Daisy, how are you? I'm good. And this is her first time on a podcast. Mm, Virgin. (laughs) Oh, we'll go slow. (laughs) Uh... I don't know if you want your name to be actually used, but we have another member in the studio that's wa- or an- another guest that's a in the studio watching. Guest. She's not yeah. even on the on the mic. No, she's not so. mic'd up. Just another uh, friend of the show, and then also my boy Josh is is sitting in with also us. Not so yeah, also can't not mic'd. Say Kiana. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, she so, said no. Well, way, to, way to put her name on blast. Covers, she didn't want it on and that. that's why we have okay, the five seconds Kiana of silence, folks. She's not here. <laughs> Everyone ignore that. She's not here. <laughs> okay. If you, uh, if you want that edited out, I can. Kiana Ramey is not here. No, we should have called her Kiki Vanilla. It's a different Kiana Ramey. <laughs> oh, God, that's such a of. great name. <laughs> Kiki, Kiki Vanilla is here. Kiki Vanilla. That makes me want to be like a you strip club DJ all over Kiki again, just so I could say that. I know, I should have. Kiki Vanilla. All right, right, fellas, get those singles waving. (laughs) Hey, yo, Kiki. (laughs) Kiki, can't you just say hi? (sighs) Just say hi. Oh, God. I have her tethered. Don't worry. She pushed the mic away, maybe because it's black. And that's what the (laughs) hang... And that's what the handcuffs. Do we have a white microphone? (laughs) (laughs) She she prefers white only microphones. Hi. (laughs) 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 All right. Continuing. Tax got that wheezy laugh. (laughs) I got the the old man laugh going. Uh, In about twenty minutes, you're gonna start dancing like a prospector. It takes only one fellatio joke, and he's gone. (laughs) That's it. Uh, I'm like, it's like a dad laugh. (laughs) <laughs> All right. I want to start off the conversations tonight on a pretty interesting topic. So we're going to go right. to a little bit of one night stand talk. So wrong. let's first find out out of the out of the cast, the normal cast in the studio, one night stands. Tack, have you ever had a one night stand? Do you have any crazy stories uh, from it or anything like that? I do. I'm trying to think of... You better not say anything. <laughs> <laughs> no you comment. swore this was a secret. I know Zach probably listened to this, so I'm not going to talk about you and I. Um, Let's see here. Uh, God, I'm trying to remember what the which story. Can we come back? Because I, I was trying to decide between. Oh, it's just a yes or me. no question, man. I'm sweet and innocent. Oh, you don't want to hear the nice. story? Okay, then yeah, I've had one. <laughs> sweet, Jay. <laughs> All right, Jay. What about you, bud? Ah, uh, I'm sure I spent a drunken night or two that I don't totally recall. Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, that, that's your story. That's it. Yeah, it's a drunken night that I don't recall. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm I've I've I've, t- I've taken part in some walks of shames in my life. <laughs> I I feel like a little mini Missy Good Two Shoes. Wait, what's the word? Good, good little Goody Two Shoes. Goody Two Shoes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was so. I don't have uh, any of those. I believe in love, and and when you give it up, then you can you get closer in the mic? When you give it up, you give it to someone good. I don't know why Connor has it right next to his penis. So, so, <laughs> get closer. so of the hundred guys that I've given it up to, you guys were all very, very special. <laughs> 
All right. <laughs> what uh, about you, Adam? Yeah, yeah. I've had a one night stand one or once or twice, but nothing, nothing that's kind of crazy story. So I was starting to look up some stories um, about one night stands and crazy shit. But you can find just about anything on the internet. Um, interesting studies: seventy percent of Americans have had a one night stand. But that's only, not interesting. This is the Ameri- only. This is America. This is home of the Whopper. That's what? not interesting. <laughs> this kind of falls in line with Andrea a little bit. Only forty four percent of them will actually admit to it if questioned by friends or family. I would totally Prudes. admit to it. I wish I had one to tell. I would totally make it up right now, but I, mean, I just don't I, have one. I can't. I can't like avoid. I mean, like on any video game or like my gamer tag and stuff. Uh, my name on every game is Pussy Slayer. It's <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a one-night stand? But, like, but like oh Pussy Slayer is always taken, so I have to do, like, P-U-Z-Z-Y. <laughs> like, Pussy Slayer. No, you know what the sick part is? Pussy Slayer is taken by, like, some 10-year-old kid. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I hope my mom doesn't see my gamer tag. No, no, he doesn't even realize what it is. He's just that future serial killer that's killing cats all over the neighborhood. <laughs> like, Pussy Slayer. I, I just find it's hard to believe that none of you guys have a one-night stand story. No, 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 I do. Yeah. Well, we didn't say we I, have I stories. We I just believe answered. in love, too. I don't do that. <laughs> no, I was a... You com- were dating naked. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I was a complete monster. When I was in the army, shit, I was in the army during the during the initial war in Iraq. I was like, listen, I'm leaving tomorrow. I don't know if I'm ever going to make it back. <laughs> if, I got, if I got paid to be a slut, I'd do it. No, That's prostitution, that sweetie. See, what I did was I was just like, listen, I'm going to be stationed in Bora Bora for three weeks. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be back. Uh, I, <laughs> a dick. All right. I would have been a slut if I had gone to Bora Bora, but it didn't happen. So. Stolen valor, kind of. Or like BDUs and stuff. People were like, so where did you serve? Bora Bora, the Cold War. <laughs> the patches as Pussy Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so at our at our Halloween party, we had um, Ms. Daisy joined us for our Halloween party, as well oh, as okay. our other guests that remain nameless at this point. But no. anyway, Daisy... Not Kiana? T- not, no, not Kiana. The other guest, not Kiana. <laughs> Daisy told me a story at that, which kind of triggered the entire purpose for me to want to have a, a one-night stand Wait, kind were, of story. You were there? Yes. Where were you dressed as? A scarecrow. Oh, oh Were you standing shit, like, really still? Because yeah. I probably... <laughs> <laughs> like if you were out in the cornfield, I probably completely ignored you. <laughs> oh, it worked. If you had oh been d- dressed as Dorothy, you would have seen her. Oh wait, did I you take it. a picture with the two dudes, the two people that showed up actually as crows? No. That would have been an awesome picture. <laughs> oh, I thought I that I was. Know you left I left before like, that. I could have oh. been the Tin Man. On there were actual birds that showed up. That <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's picture. funny. I missed it. Andrea, I gotta just be on the mic. If you're gonna talk, there I'm you sorry. go. No, it's all right. So anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to hear this. <laughs> I'm excited to right hear the story it. because Adam's been talking about it. For Adam weeks, has not shut up, yeah, but he won't. He won't tell us a story. Yes, I have not stopped hearing about it since the party, and I've been dying to hear. All right, so Daisy, let's get this first. You're single. Let's let's qualify you to our our audience a little bit. You're single. Your, if you want to say your age, 20, 22. young 20s. All right, 22. Um, baby. Living in Brevard County, Florida. We all know that's one night stand capital of the world. Um, <laughs> well, that's because everybody dies with a meth overdose by the next morning. That's like. a good point. <laughs> and, uh, your cho- place of, uh, uh, your preference of places to go out is like the Melbourne, Cocoa Village, those yeah. types of areas, maybe so, a little bit of Orlando. So, way to give yeah. out all the information for the future stalkers. That's right. <laughs> right. They're going to come find me. We're not, wait, don't worry. We won't put a picture up there of you. They're well, they're screaming, Daisy! 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 <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll recognize you by voice too you'll be like, oh, and like there she is <laughs> <laughs> alright so for your story let's set the location roughly it's just like a downtown it was Melbourne downtown Melbourne location alright mm-hmm. so you and your girlfriends go out and your goal is just to go out and have a good time and maybe meet some new people right that's the intention at the beginning of the night right yeah a friend that was visiting she was talking to this guy and that's how I met I met his friend Oh, okay. So that's so where it all started. A friend of a friend. It always, it always starts friend with, a, a friend. with a, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh, God. The guy, so I will spoil one thing. The guy is not the problem in the story. He's actually, I mean, he's a scumbag for some things, but he's a, it's a good, it's a normal guy. He's a normal guy. He's actually a okay. lawyer too. So he had money. Ooh, lawyer. <laughs> That's why I made you, uh, give me that verbal release of your audio <laughs> yeah, tonight. You're so right. You're right. I don't get sued. <laughs> Um, no, all right. So, uh, take us through it a little bit. How did you meet him and how long did it take for you guys to really work up the, the chemistry between the two of you in the club? I mean, how did, how did that go down? I mean, I was pretty drunk when I, I guess it, it started. Um, 
Always kind of a good all time. a blur. <laughs> that would be roofies. Were you at a party? Or oh, so no, we were at the bar. Just at so a bar, right? was bar, there. yeah. Right. So I guess after a couple <laughs> more drinks, <laughs> we were making out in the bar. Oh I yeah, all right, taking it up in the bar. A little PDA <laughs> with a brand new guy. That's kind of cool. Was a good looking guy. Scale him. Eh, that doesn't mean he's look good like, looking. He wasn't like the greatest looking guy. I give him like a was seven. He, was like on a scale of seven. one to Ryan Reynolds. Where was he? <laughs> How many like, drinks did he buy you? Honestly, I don't even remember. I don't know. Sponsor. <laughs> and did he buy your friends drinks? That I do not remember either. Oh, you never ignore the friends. That's the number no. one rule. You never like ignore said, the friends. It was a crazy night. It was crazy. <laughs> I don't care what she looks like. I was like, hello, beautiful ladies. <laughs> Would you guys like a drink? <laughs> All right, so take us to the point where he made, I assume he made a move, or did you make the move? How did it, how did it go down to make the decision to want to go back to a mutual location? Well, at first, I didn't want to go back with him. I was like, no, this is a bad idea. I probably shouldn't. So he asked you. He said, hey, you yeah, want to like, go back to my place? Yeah, like, you want to come back to my place? So it was and a then... weak dose of roofies. Got I it. I swear I know this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess he drove, which is, I don't know why I got in the car with him, which is absolutely insane of me. Uh, we went back to his house. Girls are always like, I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I've never I done why. this before. I, know why. I don't know. You're 22 and you can. I guess. Oh no, we're I totally not. Yeah, reason. we're totally not judging you for this. I mean, I'm, I'm just as big. On. I was you under- 22 once. Yeah, uh, you understand. I was still 22 on some websites. You got to be careful though, because like, there's two types of guys out there. There's normal guys, and then there's like serial killers. That's there's guys. <laughs> Like, you gotta be careful what car you're getting because there's guys that want to jizz on your face and guys that want to wear your face. That's a good point. Thank you. That's a very good, yeah, that's as a very good point. As soon as you get into the car, the first question, would you fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what she asked him? Wait, I'm confused. All, all the wild face. horses are playing as soon as the car starts. <laughs> um, so, so you've made the decision to go back to his place. Yes. All right. So let's paint it a little bit further. Lawyer is what you found out during your, you know, between kissing him at the bar time periods. Yeah. So lawyer, usually stereotypically pretty well off guys. He'd have a decent car, pretty nice. Yeah, and he had a nice ass house too. Uh, See, there you go. (laughs) All right. All working out so far. So when you get in his house, when you pull up to his house, his like mom isn't there or something. It's actually his place. It's just, it's his place. Uh, Okay. That's good. All good signs so far. That's pretty cool. Okay. So, uh, did he have kids, pets? He had a dog. 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 Oh, okay. We really, have a dog. Really cute dog. He was not oh, nearly as cute, cute as our dog. our dog Oliver. Oh though. no, never. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So, did he immediately turn on the action at, at the house, or did he like wine and dine you a little bit more there? Get some champagne. Get some wine. No, some, maybe some Mario. Kart. It was more like drunken, immediate. Immediately like, wow. too. Yeah, it happened as soon as we got there. And he's nice. older than you. Yeah, I'm guessing. I think he was like, like a lot older. Yeah, I think he was like 30. He didn't 30. even try like. To... Whoa, 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 whoa! No, whoa. actually, I think <laughs> can, we, <laughs> we, can we ease up on the a lot oh, sorry, older? Sorry, sorry. Like, yeah, you understand? Eight yeah. years older is older than her. Thirty would be a lot older. I actually think he was like 33. I God think. Damn it! But he didn't like offer senior you a drink citizen. when you walked in. What no. the fuck? What a whore! <laughs> Not you, him. Into the mic, into the mic, baby. <laughs> um. All right. So just right straight to it. Let, let's let's test something first was he you know at least wearing protection is that yes all right that's a good sign that's that's good that's always <laughs> yes. a good rule of a one night stand <laughs> that's that's good can't leave be the evidence yeah. yeah um before we go further did you know this was going to be a one night stand kind of deal or were you hoping that there could potentially be more with him later he's a lawyer she I was mean, hoping there'd be more <laughs> maybe a little bit like be cool if like we kept talking afterwards but he was know? only a, he was only a seven out of ten so he's just yeah like, like it wouldn't really hurt her feelings if there was. Honestly, like in Florida, like a seven's like pretty good. Like yeah. Yeah. if you've ever been to LA, like everybody's a fucking ten. So when you come back here, listen, it's like a seven. Listen to Connor. Like, <laughs> if you've ever been to <laughs> LA. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. It's like uh, I'm, used to, I'm used to walk around in Florida and it's like, you know, like being like a moderately attractive dude. I'm just like, yeah, this is, this is all right. But like when you go to LA and like everybody is like a Chad. Like, yeah. Everybody's got washboard ads. Like, Chad. Suddenly I need to like actually like. <laughs> Like, you know, step it up a little bit. Like, hi, yep. my name, I'm Connor. This is why I'm interesting. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but as a successful seven, that automatically bumps you up. 
in Brevard that County. That is true. He's like, no. I mean, you can oh, have all you can have all your teeth in Brevard County. He's and a be, successful. Yeah. Has his own job. Doesn't live with his parents. Has his own car. License. All that. So the seven and looks bumps up to like at least like an eight. There's eight a catch. Now. I'm sure there's a catch coming up. I love how you guys all amount a, like success to just not living with your parents. <laughs> yeah. Like welcome, welcome, welcome to Brevard. Nice. Meanwhile, Josh just picked me up from my dad's place. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I'll be going home to sleep in my dad's garage. <laughs> wow, I'm that must be a, like a ten. <laughs> I live on my own. Yeah, you're, but you, you've got an asterisk. You're a ginger ten. It's a little uh, different. You're a dick. <laughs> all right, Why does so that make me? let's focus a ginger twelve. Um, all right, so let's focus it's back on, on the lawyer one night stand. So, okay. how was the sex? I mean, because you guys are already there. Was it good sex? How was how was the experience? Honestly, Take me it this. wasn't really that great of sex. So like no foreplay, no. It was a little bit, but I feel like I just wanted it to be over. Like I was kind of like done. I was drunk. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to go to like sleep. It like, oh, gotcha. <laughs> like it was just I wasn't feeling it. You know what? I missed a, a pretty important part of this story. Yeah. What was wh- how were you dressed? What was your attire? I had mm-hmm. on wedges and wedges. That means nothing to guys. We don't what know what that means. Like heels. I was wearing oh, heels. heels. I oh, pictured okay. you wearing blocks of cheese. Yeah. <laughs> and instead of I having picture like somebody's the underwear being pulled up. The heel connects to it, so it's like a. It's like oh, good! Like a wedge. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we totally So you were right. totally. you were wearing building blocks. <laughs> Got <Yeah>. it. <laughs> All right. Okay. I just had jeans on and just like a tank top. He was actually okay. obsessed, kind of obsessed with the shoes. He was like, "You look so hot," and those, "You look so hot," and those. Oh no, not a so foot fetish. So he may have had like a foot fetish. I don't oh. know. Oh, oh. Me, I want to do something unseemly to your toes. <laughs> All right. All right. So we got the outfit. We got the the decor of the guy. He's got a nice house, nice ride, nice profession. So he's obviously got money. He's got his shit together. That's important to a lot of girls. A guy that's got his shit together, at least, you know, somewhat monetarily wise. (laughs) I mean, it means enough because she said the sex wasn't that great, but it would have been cool if they kept talking anyway. So it's like, he's got his shit together. I'm willing to deal with some subpar dick. That's a good point. Maybe it was just drunk sex, like drunk sloppy sex. Could you feel it though? Oh, yeah. Hung like horse or (laughs) hung like. That's like the big thing if you could feel it. He was like average. He wasn't like, it wasn't like small. But it's just, I don't think he knew how to, like, That's dragging the seven down. That's yeah. dragging it down. I know. Success isn't going to cut. cut <laughs> All right. So I after. Wanna, she said it doesn't know how to work. You're like, I want to start, like, <laughs> dick boot camp. <laughs> 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 like, That's actually yeah. a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> like no no you need to keep a consistent speed it's the only way they get off you don't <laughs> want to gas yourself out too early son <laughs> don't fly out of the gates at Mach 5 it's not going to work you don't want to use the same dummies in the class though never guys go to a boot camp how to use your penis in a woman that's right make sure you do your dick ups do your it's dick not going to work they don't know how well he needs a go. female he needs a female assistant motherfucker it's like Amazon I've got ratings and reviews yeah, <laughs> yeah. alright I think my word is pretty credible have you not have you not I saw it heard of Yelp Connor <laughs> you are a beautiful guy with beautiful blue eyes girls are going to tell you what they want to on those reviews they're going to tell you what you want <laughs> All right, so let's get back into the into the the evening. By the way, just a All reminder: right. the name of the show is Living Vicariously. So we're trying yeah. to yes. hear, yeah. We're, 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 Not living vicariously, Connor. <laughs> living podcariously. Oh shit! Oh, so just because it was one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been on this show for a couple of months. I, I thought it was right. back curiously. I really I, I want to hear shit. I've been wasting my life. <laughs> All right, so so we're in. The sex is done at this point, sex right? Done. All right, All so right. sex is done. It was quick. One time, mediocre. One once and out, and you're done. Or cuddle time. Or how, how did this? How did I think it work he out? tried to cuddle with me, and he tried. He actually in the morning he did try to have sex with so me. Spent again. Stayed all night. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I stayed all night. night. Oh. I was drunk. I was tired. I just fell asleep. And you said hell no in the morning. You weren't interested. Yeah, he tried to have sex with me in the morning. I'm like, we're sober now. What? Do you know how many times you had sex that night? I don't know. Probably just like I don't know. Maybe fifty. You <laughs> have it have been bigger, you felt it was like once that. for me. It was like six times for him. <laughs> <laughs> he videotaped it. I don't know. Oh Something God. online. <laughs> All right. Actually, I have a feeling she didn't get off one time. Nope. Oh, that's, that's a damn like, shame. You know, no. Give the guy some fucking credit. She was drunk. Like it's not like it's not like it's no. been easier for me. <laughs> you can get off. No, no. Just, when you're trying to get a girl off, off, like 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 in, like girls know this. Like when you're trying to get a girl off when she's sober, it's mm-hmm. a little bit easier. But like. You know, when you're trying to get a girl off, when you're drunk, it suddenly becomes like fucking Mission Impossible. Yeah. Doom, 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 doom. When she's yep. drunk or when you're drunk? Uh, fucking balls. Yes. <laughs> no, no. Yes. Girls can get off when they're drunk. 
Like I said, he I didn't mean, know how yes. to work it. Yeah, it's, this isn't. It's like, exactly. It was yeah, just so. Yeah. This is a fault Girls of the guy. Girls can get off yeah. when they're drunk. Just we'll just blame it on him. No. All right. So you spent the night. That's a pretty important question to ask. So you slept over in his bed, cuddled or not, whatever, drunk. But you were about. You, you woke up in the morning and you needed to do the stereotypical walk of shame, either out to your car, back to the cab, or or whatever. Which is you leave the one night stands house and you mm-hmm. walk to get yourself back to your real life mm-hmm. and forget about the evening. So. You did your walk, and you go back to your car. You make it back to your house and 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 whatever. Well, and is that the end of the story? How did, how does it go? What happens here? I had to get dressed in the morning, and okay. I couldn't find my underwear. He's a, he's an underwear <laughs> so thief. My underwear gone. <laughs> I went home without any underwear. He had to drive me home. Well, he didn't actually drive me home. He drove me to his friend's house, where the rest of my friends were. Hit so his friends were his friends. <laughs> yeah, like they were all. Oh wait, yeah, he was a, he was a friend of a friend. You yeah, said, right? He was oh, okay, a friend okay. Of a friend. okay. That would have been weird if that would have just worked out randomly. <laughs> yeah, like, like, hey, wait, what? <laughs> my friend was talking to his friend. Oh, okay, so okay. she would. They were already there at his apartment. So we all met back up there. So y'all are all hanging out with these old dudes. Oh wait, let's take it back to when I woke up and I was looking for my underwear, and there was girls' shoes on the ground. Uh oh, that wait, were wait, not wait. mine. Women's shoes or like little girls' shoes? Women's shoes, okay. like high heels, like tennis you. shoes. Were they like, pumps or flats? Yeah, does, does, does Chris Hansen a, need to be involved? <laughs> <laughs> wedges. It was wedges. a variety. It was a variety. I don't know what any of those are. Oh, that's not a good sign, is it? That's so. Funny. His friends are with your friends. Uh huh. His friends are all like old guys hanging out with all your young friends. Yes. Got this. A bunch of perverts. <laughs> Not necessarily. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Hang on, hang on. Let's Why, wait, you shoes? Shoes? Why are old guys perverts so, automatically? No. <laughs> I didn't say anything about the shoes. I'm like, whatever. Just fucking take me home. Like, I don't want to be here anymore. Were there like pictures on the walls? No. Stuff? There All was right. nothing on the wall. So I leave without any underwear. I get back to my friend, whatever, where all my friends were. And they're calling me like Melissa or Michelle. I don't remember which one it was. So your and your name's obviously Daisy. Yes, yeah. my name is Daisy. Yeah, and your Daisy. friends are calling you this, or his friends? They're my friends are calling me that because apparently he shoes. had a girlfriend, and that is her girl, oh. his, her girlfriend's oh. name. Shoes. And so I had a one night stand with a guy who then has a girl, has a girlfriend, a living girl. A what? A live-in girl? Uh, Obviously, yeah, I guess are there. so. Yeah. In her bed? Aww. Uh-huh. Oh. So he cheated on his girlfriend. That doesn't make you bad in this story at no, all, by the way. That I had makes, no idea. Yeah, that like, makes Everybody him. told me, they were like, he should have told you, like, if we would have known that you were going to go home with him, like, we would have told you before. Right. Like, that... So yeah. he's just an asshole. <laughs> Total asshole. But the story gets better. It gets better. Oh. It gets better. So oh, I don't yes. talk to him after that. I don't... But I'm, my friend was still hanging out with his friend. So we were hanging out a couple days later, and he tells me that the dog died that he had. Oh, the dog what? Died. So the dog died. What kind of dog is it again? Do you it remember? It was a Labrador Retriever. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, no. Big lab. And they all knew that I didn't leave, like I didn't find my underwear. So apparently the dog died <gasps> from an obstruction in his <laughs> intestines. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> That's not funny, Jay. <laughs> it's funny that a pussy killed a dog. Yes! <laughs> yes! Okay. That's funny. So but they didn't say like what the obstruction was. I feel like that's something like if you knew what it was, you would say what the obstruction was. Like yeah. you don't just call it an obstruction. Like what was it? He obviously ate something. Like so they all think that. Well, if it was panties, like he probably was trying to hide it from his girlfriend. He's like, oh, no, babe, it was, it was like some obstruction. <laughs> yeah, like it was, unidentified. It was a thing. <laughs> yeah. If your underwear is missing, it's the only place to get a gun. So, moral of the story is don't cheat on your girlfriend or your dog is going to die. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's what I'm love it. Love it. All that of is karma. <laughs> karma. That is a fucking awesome moral. <laughs> Oliver's life is in That's your hands, Adam. Crazy. I guess so. I felt so bad too because the dog was so cute and like he was innocent. He was like young and, and healthy, you him. and I killed him. Oh. What color was he? Uh, golden. Golden. What was yeah. his name? Labrador's love underwear. I can't see the name. The dog's name? No, yeah, because yeah, I had to give away. Yeah, give it away. It was Goldie. Just call the him story Goldie. won't like. There's a bunch of dudes that have this story. Yeah, I mean, you know, like Daisy. Spike or Sparky? Like how many fucking? It it's not like the dog's name was like Travis, and they're gonna be like, oh my god! Like I never that thought that. Is. Okay. No, unless that is the dog's actual name or some shit. Like it's some weird. Name. I don't know if it's a lab. What's the dog's name? I Mordecai. A, I had a you black got a lab, lab, and he would eat all my underwear, no matter what. If they were clean, brand new, 
He would find them if they were Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Otherwise, he didn't give a shit. But if they were Victoria's Secret, clean or dirty, he ate them and they would disappear and they'd be gone. <laughs> Do you send him a bill for how much you're out for those panties? <laughs> right. Like, I, you Victoria's me. Secret, they're pretty expensive. I think you should sue him. <laughs> <laughs> you may have a case. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I, I'd want to yeah. sit in for that legal brief. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, oh, God, I feel dirty doing so that. So when I asked him, like, hey, bro, how was the ass last night? He was like, killer. <laughs> <laughs> we are the master that really of puns. Sucks, Daisy. <laughs> I know. I felt died. so bad. But so you know wait, what? you? I felt bad. More bad for the dog dying. Of course. The guy, he had it coming to him. What a fucking asshole! He went and helped her like move her stuff or something the day after. Like I remember, all of his friends were telling me like that he was still like he did probably and didn't he tell didn't her say anything. Her name one time. Nope. That he had. A I don't even know her. Like was seeing anyone. Nope. Didn't say one word. That's not <laughs> how guys get laid. <laughs> guys oh, before we jerks. do this, let me tell you about my living girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> you don't have her name's Vicky, girlfriend. and I don't. Because I don't. They're scary. <laughs> because they scare the shit out of me. <laughs> I've been broken. <laughs> Daisy, that was a fantastic story. <laughs> wow. I, I definitely. I. You, it was so hard not to tell these motherfuckers this story because of how good that ending is. He's it had an erection so for like the last two weeks, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't all Tom Van. Like, <laughs> I've been, I've been like some of it had to do with the story. I've not heard the story. It's at a good all. story. Wow, yeah. that's it's crazy. an unfortunate story for the dog, but yeah, so surprisingly, as kids and dogs, because I had no idea where the story was going. So, <laughs> note to everybody out there: stay away from Daisy. <laughs> yeah, she'll kill your dog. Yeah, your fucking no. dog. I kill dog. No. We're worried about guys trying don't to track you down. Your girlfriend. <laughs> right, right, right. And don't cheat on her girlfriend. Yeah, especially with especially Daisy. with Daisy. If you have a dog who eats right. underwear, right? Don't cheat on your girlfriend if you have dog who eats underwear. With Daisy, isn't that the moral of the story? Yes, all yeah. that with Daisy. With but Daisy. some, some yeah. guy like walks into his apartment with you, and his dog is like, "Hey, yo, you want to like, <laughs> can we like reconsider?" <laughs> the dogs start growling at you. Soon, I heard, I know what you did to my friend. <laughs> now, oh my that God. maybe that's why they smell the butts. I, I smell granny panties. That's what they're doing. They're smelling. Oh. That's, that must be it. All right, they wouldn't eat granny panties. It's too much material. Uh, we are going like to take sexy underwear. All right, we're going to take a break in studio. When we come back, we're going to have a very special interview with our buddy, Connor Hughes, a VH1 dating naked star, as well as American Ninja Warrior and Sci-Fi's Exit. <laughs> All right, I got it right that time. Um, well, the first time, because that was the second time. Right, you know right, what I mean. right, right, right. All right, we'll be back in studio in just a minute. Hey, it's Adam. If you enjoyed the content or the cast of Living Podcariously, be sure to check out the other show we produce. It's called The Twisted Ten. Each week, a host or a guest host takes over the show and brings their own unique and original top ten list to the show. Here's a few examples. Top ten crazy religious practices. Top ten sexual fetishes. Twisted Guinness World Records. Top ten possible human extinction events. And my personal favorite, top ten best or worst infomercial products. As you can see the content is all over the place for the show however it is a lot of fun to produce and we hope you like it as always thanks for listening dj gildugo is bringing back the old school just for cast away the island lost at sea Right, welcome to Living Podcariously. Uh, during that break, you were listening to a little bit of DJ Gil Lugo. We put his uh, his information in the uh, show notes, so if you want to check out some of his music, he's on SoundCloud, uh, iTunes, all those places, so you can go get some of his jams. But, uh, all right, Tack. <laughs> sweet, so sweet jams. Let me get ask some of his jams. Let me ask you a question. Does he can them himself? His jellies. <laughs> yes. Jim's you ain't ready for this jelly. Come on, what movie? <laughs> what movie? What? What are we talking about? Wait. Spaceballs. I didn't hear. Oh, oh, oh we've been jammed. Raspberry. <laughs> uh, I miss that sweet little ass. 
<laughs> That's a who me? Whoa, who who was that? Stop it! Who was that? Speaking who? of our next guest, well, uh, I can't tell if Tax Blusher or if he's just burnt from the sun. Oh, he's. Uh, I went and checked the mail today, so I. Got oh well, that's a third degree. I get it. <laughs> ginger lives matter. Hey, that's our word, not yours. <laughs> I'm dating a ginger. I think I have the right to say it. Uh, no, yeah. that doesn't give you a. Co- that doesn't. No, give no you a ginger I, I have ginger card. friends. I have, fr- I have friends fine. that are black. It's okay. <laughs> I have ginger I, friends. I've dated a lot it. of black Wait, girls that doesn't let me walk into a basketball court. Stop! Everyone, stop! On with the show. <laughs> yeah. She's what are you her, policing up? She's oh, wearing her shit. boss pants. Abrupt subject change. So it's the nude spot she's in. She's not in the lady chase tonight. I know. Uh-huh. Now I'm in like this like pink she's director's a, She's in a position of authority. That's Anyway, I hear an extra voice yes, on the show. Yes, we have an so. extra one. I'll lead into him a little bit, Tech. Do you watch any reality TV? Oh, I have watched one recently. Is it the one we're t- here to talk about today? Maybe. Okay. I only like watching reality shows where people are naked. Okay. I don't think there is any like that, though, is there? That's porn. Only, <laughs> only if they <laughs> just because they don't pick her, just because they don't actually take her home, doesn't make it reality. I'm not prejudiced against porn. I love porn. I support the naked hustle strongly. Total supporter of porn. Everybody's the same height in bed. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, so no, for for this little reality TV segment, uh, we decided to bring on a good friend of the show and uh, also a reality TV star. We've got Mr. Connor Hughes. Right. Right. And he is a return guest to our show. He was on before we did our little reboot. Uh, but since then, he has gone on to bigger and better things. He got so famouser. Connor was on, <laughs> Connor was on season three of Dating Naked. Right. Out, and that was held out in Bora Bora. Is that right? Yeah, it was... Uh... Yeah, Bora Bora. Nice. Yeah, that's that's a gorgeous place. That sounds like a really good way to get something you can't get rid of. (laughs) What happens in Bora Bora stays in Bora Bora. (laughs) Not not necessarily. It depends on how strong that shot of penicillin is. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But Connor Connor isn't uh, uh, only tied into Dating Naked. He's also done a couple of other shows you guys might know, like American Ninja Warrior. He he starred in one of those. As well as uh, Sci-Fi's Next episode or next exit. show exit yeah why well, fuck that all up didn't i <laughs> a little bit sci-fi's exit so wait do we yes. have to refer to you as connor son is that like a <laughs> <Connor-san>? <laughs> um yeah that's fine <laughs> <laughs> i try to think of something witty and quick to say but it just it wasn't there yes slipping, man you're slipping i know so we've got some game. we've got some limits on what we can and can't talk about on there so if we ask a question that we have to strike for some reason for production purposes for VH1 or something like that. They just let us know. We'll, I'll just we'll edit I'll it scream out. no really we, loud. We won't really edit, any, edit, edit anything out. It all stays in. You should squeeze your balls at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so, number one, how long ago was it? When did you go out there and do, do the recording of this? Yeah, I get that question a lot, and I honestly blank out every time. I think it's been um, since I've been back. You know, adjusting civil, uh, civilian life. Yeah. Um, it's been <laughs> Clothing about, life. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> six months, maybe. Okay. When I was out there. Wow, was that long? I yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah, when he first came out, said he was going to do it. We were in our old house in that old little studio. Yeah, so. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. When he was talking about going out there. Yeah. Yep. Back cool. before. Mm. Back in the day. Back before you got naked. <laughs> I mean, I was... Still, so still getting naked before that's that. That's why the thing is like, <laughs> quite a bit. How did it feel like when you just walked out there and you were naked? <clears throat> um, fucking weird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like when you first show up, you uh, you're not allowed to meet like any of the cast members or anything. But you show mm-hmm. up and uh, like you just like the crew is there, like the production team, and like you're you're in your clothes. So, like I have poor like you know situational awareness, so I'm wearing jeans and fucking Bora Bora. I have like jeans and like a button up shirt, and there's like. Okay, nice to meet you, Mr. Hughes. Right, tell us a little bit about your background. I told them, right, all right, cool. We're uh, we're good to go film and uh, film your section, uh, your segment. I'm like, all right, cool. And they're like, um, okay, go ahead and get naked. And I'm just like, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so like, there's like 40 people clothed um, running the production, and then just me, like, with my, so, with so my it is out. porn. <laughs> yeah, essentially, <laughs> soft porn. It's so, like I'm naked, and it's like. I don't know why I feel like I'm cold. I'm like covering everything. I'm like, hey. And like, you know, you're about to be on camera, right? And I'm like, yeah. Like, you're you going to complain probably. you're cold and bore bore. I was going to say, you, that's not an excuse but then, there. But then I like, I own that shit afterwards. I was just like, you know what? No, this, this island belongs to me and my penis. And <laughs> I mean, the thing, wh- wh- they couldn't just let you cover it up. I'm assuming, I mean, it's, it's network TV. They're going to blur it out anyway. I mean, is it really that essential that you're actually naked for it? 
uh social experiments yeah, yeah. yeah because like when you when you first meet her and you're naked like it definitely does add a whole new dynamic to like the whole first impression thing because you have no um external um like voices like you, you can't dress a certain way that's right. pretty, like it's like it's just you it's just raw you so like you could be talking to someone who's like goth or someone who's like i don't know whatever the fuck else and you have no idea like it's just like it's how you present yourself you know yeah. um without all that physical bullshit so and then also like it's like you know your dick's out and stuff so, like, <laughs> so you're basically thinking of oprah winfrey on a cold day like constantly yeah like, and, oh, that's uh, uh that's jay's go-to to kill a boner is yep. oprah winfrey everybody likes oprah. to think everybody thinks baseball i don't i don't like see baseball. i think like shotgun rusty pickup truck like herpes <laughs> yeah but i mean that me. sounds like how i make most of my bad decisions i don't think that would stop anything <laughs> so, like, oh that's like last thursday all right <laughs> so how is it different meeting a girl naked versus be- meeting a girl clothed um eye contact becomes a challenge at first <laughs> <laughs> especially with her i mean she was super cute man i, I well, watched the show so, so how does just for listeners that don't know how does exactly does this work what's the point of the reality competition how right, does it so you've got a main dater named david and you've got the main dater named natalie you ma'am. dated david yeah david was <laughs> awesome he's so great and <laughs> bad um no but yeah uh, there's the two main daters and I think David gets like 20 women and Natalie gets 20 men. And what happens is she, uh, so the first day on the show, they go out with each other. And then after that, Natalie gets a guy, he gets a girl, and then all four of them go back to the house. And then the next day, same thing. And then all of them go back to the house. Um, and then eventually it goes on till there's eight people at the house, both their three daters and then themselves. And then, uh, the next morning is elimination and she eliminates two guys. He eliminates two girls and they have what's called a keeper, the person they choose to keep. Everybody stays inside like a, it's, it still looks like paradise. Like people would still pay to stay there, but it's much lower scale, um, mm-hmm. than anything else. It's like just like a little cast house that everybody stays in. Yeah. And once you get, uh, the keeper status, you get promoted to like this big villa type, you know, <laughs> oh, place sweet. that's really nice. So like the keeper house. Yeah. yeah. The keeper house is actually exactly what it was called. Yeah. So they have Andrea, when, when we decided to make things real between two of us, that made you a keeper. So I moved you into the house. See how that works. Oh, that's see the other so house he has like two or three cute. of the girls. <laughs> yeah, the other house I've got some other other girls. I need some kitty litter to vomit into. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was so disgusting. So so the girl, so the guys that go on, you and these other guys that are competing are, are competing for the attention of one girl, and vice versa. The girls that go on to compete are competing for the attention of one guy. And yes, and sometimes there is some cross contamination where like. One of his females will hook up with one of her males. <laughs> I nice. saw that. That's I what I was that. wondering. I was like, he what if one of out. the other girls is hotter than the original girl? Which definitely happened. Um, he got called. So out. that might answer a question. Was there some fucking on, you know, oh, behind yeah. the scenes kind of stuff? Oh yeah, there was. Yeah? There was some fucking. And it was not behind the scenes. It was they showed. It <laughs> they show it. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't watch all of them. I watched a couple of them that you were in, but I don't remember seeing fucking in it. Our yeah. our, st- our cable doesn't let us have that channel. What was uh? What was that Family guy's name? Network. Oh, you're too high class. What too was that? Class. That bromance? You had a showman's on there with uh, what's his name? Zach. Zach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Zach. You two were adorable. Oh, uh, he's. You know, I told Natalie. You seem pretty cool though. I told Natalie, I was like, please don't eliminate me so I can stay with Zach. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, Zach, I have a keeper room. That. <laughs> <laughs> stay, stay with me in the keeper room, in Zach. Sh- I keep you. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That was adorable. You too. So what kind of, what kind of prep did you do for this? Like I would have I would have spent like a month at every nude beach I could find, just desensitizing myself to everything. Like I would have spent all my life in South Beach, just like mm-hmm, practicing the eye contact. Yeah, I'm like, going nothing, to, nothing exists from the shoulders down. I'm going to imagine his preparation was manscaping with tweezers. I'm just saying. Oh, is there a w- also, is there a also yes, also that yeah. would have absolutely been done. <laughs> is there a way to work out your penis? Because that's what I would. Yeah, you just uh, you hang a wet towel from it and do pickups. Oh, okay. Oh, Haven't pickups. you seen that video for Schwarzenegger? He tied a he tied a weight to his dick. Da- it was cock, and he like <laughs> did a squat with it. That's how I did. She's like, "Oh, your penis is so vascular." Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, in any of you guys vascularity. have the guts? Would you guys have the guts to do that? Yeah, I, I would. I, I don't exactly um, look like Connor, but I would go out there and do you it. Just, you, just have to, you just have to not give a fuck about anything. That's what kind of means. Okay. <laughs> no, I give a fuck about way too much. No, <laughs> no, no. No, but I don't like seeing myself sure. naked in the mirror. Nobody wants to see that. Yeah. I, what about a bubble bath? You want you want to take a bubble bath with me and naked in a bubble bath? Oh, all oh. four of us? 
I, I think covered I think up. Andrea just wrote the picture for the cover for this episode. Though. I feel I feel <laughs> like I'm gonna have to bag. take. All of us in a I'm gonna bag. have my own little Kim cover shoot now. <laughs> I'm not. I don't <laughs> like where this is going. What's funny is like the all the things I did on the show. I mean, obviously, I get blown up on social media, but there's one thing that I said in particular, and it was in the bonus scenes, like in the bloopers reel. And there's one thing that I get the most shit for, or the most comments towards. And I was on the show, and I publicly said. That I would fuck Ryan Reynolds. How could you not? Though? I don't Hold think on. that's gay. That's not I, gay at all. Like, Natalie was like, "You'd fuck Ryan Reynolds." I'm like, uh, "I think any dude would." She's like, yeah. "Really?" I'm like, "Straightest to the straight." Would it, Ryan Reynolds would fuck Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, and she was like, "Yeah." And like, so many people are like, "Would you really fuck Ryan Reynolds?" And I'm just like, "I'm not. I'm not going to answer that." <laughs> did you? Did you, you see that? Yes. Did you see that Family Guy episode when he was on there? Ryan Reynolds? <laughs> no. What he was, are the he had like on? a romance with like Peter. I'm <laughs> <laughs> he was like, super, oh, he he did that. He was but totally he, into Peter, and it was awesome. He reprised that role in Ted. Oh, did he? If, if you see the movie Ted, he, uh, him, and uh, oh, what's his name? Um, he was on Seinfeld. I'll never remember his name now, but yeah, <laughs> Ryan Reynolds played a gay dude, and he was having a you know a gay romance with uh <laughs> with um I'm Mark Wahlberg's Mark boss at the rental car agency. <laughs> How come I don't remember that? So would it be weird if Ryan Reynolds asked for all of your behind the scenes unedited and unfiltered footage? Um, because on the line with us yes. right now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> because he's hi, buddy. <laughs> our boy, our boy Ron that uh, listens to the show is a huge Ryan Reynolds fan too. So he's, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's there. With he's you. all over it. Yeah, yeah. I think like, I think it's I think Ryan it's Reynolds. completely straight to say as any guy that you'd fuck a Ryan Reynolds or b Fight Club Brad Pitt. That's just yes. Yeah, absolutely. Those, are, those actually probably make you more straight. Like, there's yeah. nothing. Not the only thing more masculine than saying you'd fuck Ryan Reynolds or Brad Pitt is like Chuck Norris eating a steak. That's like the only thing I could think of that's more masculine. I want to sit down, have a steak with Chuck Norris and Ron Swanson. Mm. Oh, I just don't know. <laughs> Ron Swanson, yeah. Ages. Oh, what were the ages on the show? I think the youngest person was maybe 23. And the oldest? 27? No, that's not true. They have the old guy on there. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was like 60 something. (laughs) They had a 60 year old guy? Yeah, Yeah. he was. I never met him, but that dude was fucking killer. He didn't make it very (laughs) well. No, no, it it was mostly like just like a, I don't know, just something to make the show interesting. How long does your typical person stay on the show? One day. Uh, Only one day? Mm hmm. Were yeah. you on for one day? Oh, you can't say. Um, can I you? can't specify, but um, oh, oh, that's true. Can you say you were on more than one day? I will. Can say, you say you were a keeper once, maybe? I will say that I was on a multitude of days. A multitude of days. Wait, there hasn't the show already like been on? Yeah, you got an award. Well, it, yeah, it came on in the U.S. It hasn't aired. It just started. They're about halfway through in the U.K. right now. I can gotcha. bl- I can block the U.K. downloads for this episode until it finishes. It's Why would you want to do that? It. Yeah, that because that's going to eliminate point. so much audience. <laughs> kind of kills our ability to. <laughs> yeah, <let's not> do <laughs> that. We've got <laughs> that's a big, good point. The UK's big, yeah, big UK's, following in the UK. UK's okay. It's about uh, half a percent of our downloads, especially so if like, they <laughs> want to hear what. Kind that's okay. I like the taboo. You know what I could do? Um, what I could do is just like. You could tag me in it and everything and post it wherever you want and say I was in it. I just won't share it on my wall because VH1 watches my wall like a fucking <gasps> hawk. So I just won't Big share it on my brother. wall and we can say things. We want okay. you to share it on your wall, though. Yeah, we, would, contract- we would want you to. Contractually, he can't. Yeah, I don't want you yeah. to get We're in trouble. We're using you, Connor. Because I got paid like, <laughs> but they'll sue me for like... <laughs> and, I mean, everybody knows all you have to do is incorporate real that's quick that's all you get for being fine. naked you would have made so much more money being a prostitute yeah but you <laughs> know like, like she speaks from experience so i got paid like a, um a good chunk from doing the show but more so it was like the inexpenses like if i were to plan a trip on my own for the amount of weeks that i stayed yeah. in bora bora it accumulated to about 27 grand would be the the cost of the wow. trip. The room I stayed in uh, alone had like glass floors so you could see the water underneath. Oh, and no. that room, like if you want to rent it, is like three grand a night. So oh, wow. I was wow. like, I could never afford this. And how long shit. were you there all together? Uh, quite a while, three weeks. Is that okay to say how long you were in Bora Bora? Yeah, I think they shut. Yeah, because that's pre that counts pre production and everything. Yeah, that, I was counting okay. everything. So just your whole entire trip when you left home. Yeah, and you know what? It's already been shown on U.S. television that I lasted three weeks, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I was there. I I survived three eliminations. But how long Sweet. did you have to leave right after you were eliminated? Like, yeah. So oh like, God, they're so fucking cutthroat about it. Like, there's no like say goodbye out. to the rest of the cast. It's like 
as soon as she says your name on the chopping block, it's oh, like they, you literally leave they, from right there. Yeah, they already. Yeah, that's not fake. Like they already wow. went in your room and put your shit on the boat before. Oh, she oh damn! <laughs> yeah, so like immediately, I was like, "Can I say go ahead? No, no, bro, go to the boat, go to the boat." And I'm like, <laughs> "Fuck, man!" Like I have so many things I want to say. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's pretty much like it's immediately. Like, so it's like, okay, you guys are dismissed, and you walk away. It's like you're ushered straight to the boat. Holy so shit! So what did you do wrong? Um, I think my. Were you all like creepy like that one dude was? Like, <laughs> Which creepy. one? Uh, I don't remember his name. Blonde one? I don't remember. Some, this one guy was just, like a stalker and just like creepy oh, as hell. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. What did she look like? <clears throat> she was cute. Oh, the girl? Was um, she jealous she, of you and yeah, Zach? I have, I have did they get that one shot of episode. you looking longingly back at, at Zach? I have to wait <laughs> like, for the like, whole episode. They, like, they got the shot of me and Zach like... No. <laughs> so, <laughs> hand on the how, glass. <laughs> how much of this reality? Like, first of all, like the guy David, I thought he was an awesome, dude. Like, he seemed really cool. Yeah, I actually, um, I just you went to the that? awards assembly, um, reality TV awards in in LA, and mm-hmm. got to stay in a hotel with David and Natalie. And David's cool as fuck. Um, yeah, he seems really cool. Yeah, he like I said, super uh, he, nice guy. Yeah, he's like exactly how he is on screen as he is off. Nice. Like he's, he doesn't like play a character. That's good Come to on. hear. Is that that's the two right? Like David and that's them. All right. So that Andrea is the girl and the guy, the main girl and the main guy. The main girl is what was what were you just saying? Why, said why are they covering up her boobs and butt? She didn't have one. They showed her butt on the show. They showed everybody's butt. Yeah, you can see everybody's well, yeah, butt. You, can see just, butt. Just, you see how she just got instantly judgy though. Yeah. <laughs> instantly. <laughs> a woman. Screw her. I was uh, I was watching the show with my wait, daughters. Wait, who is this chick with the big boobs? Uh, it's, it's another. That's like a random promotion for something. That like might that. be an old. Th- I just did a, a search for dating naked. There's like this is dating naked. You get to see chicks with big boobs, and then no. <laughs> you know, it's not all about boobs, Andrea. Sometimes people fall in love with personality. That's mm-hmm. right. Not on dating <laughs> <Fucking> naked. <hippie. laughs> it's dating naked. I was watching the show with my daughters, and I told them that uh, Connor was going to be on there. You know. And uh, as soon as that, I was like, oh, there he is. You're finally, your, you know, your episode finally came on. You watched Connor Nagy with your daughter. Yeah. And they were so like, so for the DCF, really? if I had a daughter family for every time, time a family has come together and watched <laughs> me right. naked. Me and my, well, really, it was just one of my daughters. So, I mean, she's, she's almost 18, though, so it's all good. But oh, it was like, oh, he's got a cute butt. Don't tell Connor that. He'll, he'll be on there I know pretty, he will. On, on that phone number pretty quick. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. That's so mean. You can call me dad. <laughs> <laughs> daddy. So, Papa. I prefer daddy. <laughs> So oh, since baby. dating me, Call me naked, that anyway. how has your dating life been? Uh, it's been good. I um, it's actually fucking weird. Um, like since I got back, it's random messages from people I don't know, like from all over the country. Like you were my favorite, blah blah blah. And it's like, sorry, that was me. Yeah, <laughs> I saw all those <laughs> fake accounts you made. <laughs> um, but like you can't. It's impossible to respond to everybody individually, and um, a lot of it is just like. You start to realize like the slut count in the country because like you like I'll open up like my Instagram messages or like my Facebook messages and it's just like this starting the start of the conversation is just like a titty pick and she's just like hey like I thought you were the best on the show like maybe we should talk and I'm like <laughs> are we gonna completely ignore what that message what what happened what just occurred before yeah. that <laughs> like she doesn't even bring like attention like do you like these she's just like hey you're my favorite maybe we could talk and I'm like but. Is that how do you greet everybody like that? Or <laughs> you, sh- you should respond back with a picture of your dick and say no. I should like a blurred <laughs> picture of my dick. <laughs> no, no, she sent a boob pic. You send a boob pic. Which, by the way, the guys on the editing team on Daily Naked definitely did me some favors in making that blur mark <laughs> <laughs> bigger than it needed to be. That was my next question. You just beat there's, me to it. There's <laughs> a, there was a couple times where I was like, "All right, that's about four inches longer than it needs to be." <laughs> so I heard some uh, blurb about. Uh, Possibly next season, maybe? You're going to get called back? Uh, I don't know if we could talk about that, but I'm just curious myself. I will eventually be making a return to reality TV um, on multiple shows. Oh, nice. Whether or not that's Dating Naked or not. Okay, all right. Way to, cool. way to, way to dime out his future plans there, Tack. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. no it's like, I'm not like an <laughs> evil kidding. genius. I'm not going to tell you my plan right before I kill you. No, <laughs> I, I just heard <laughs> everybody yeah, said that. You break break out the angry sea bass. <laughs> you clearly, freaking laser beams. You'll clearly just escape and then foil all my plans. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I just heard something about maybe... Uh, since you were a favorite on there, maybe you mm. would be the next David for next season, you know, kind of. Yeah, thing. there's actually, um, on VH1's wall, uh, there's actually a lot of fan requests for that too, which was surprising because, like, 
you know, I didn't have a small part on the show at all. Yeah, you that's did? Good. Well, that's because the CGI, that's the CGI said, is getting no, they you guys added. in the thing. Oh, you see what you stepped in. There were no small parts. You see what you stepped in there? Yeah. No I, small I, parts. I have a habit of doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, there was, there's a lot of people saying like, oh, he should be like the main dater next year. And I was like, every time somebody did that, I would say, yeah, that'd be great. And like tag VH1 in it. I'm like, hey, you guys saw that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll tag it. You get paid more then? Bag it and tag it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you're going to take me to dinner if I get you on the show? Oh, how quickly that turned. Um, Adam who? No, I'm good with it. I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. I'm, I'm all right. I'm after free food. I know her intentions. I go too. It's a free <laughs> she, dinner. She's looking for a sponsor. I don't have to cook. If you want pot roast, I made some. Yeah, as long as you order off the dollar menu, you're straight. <laughs> I always order the cheapest thing. McFish. <laughs> Filet. All right. So we know that there was some fucking on the show. Oh, yeah. Either on or off air, whatever that was. Uh, did you get involved in any of the uh, shenanigans or shenanigans? Shenanigans. Thank you, say, sir. Yes. I would say I kept my dick in my pants, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of hard to do that. Yeah. You kept it to yeah, yourself. Without <clears throat> pants. Um, but no, no, I didn't fuck anybody on the island. All right, the I, whole uh, time. Not even Zach. Okay. <laughs> uh, there how was did, there was some intense not? eye gazing, but no, no fucking. You, I fucked the hell out of him. Uh, how did you uh, not? <clears throat> Are you uh, a guy after more? Uh, I just, it's weird. Like, I just didn't. Like, um, I may or may not have had some opportunities, but, you know, um. That means may. I'll when, 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 when you, <laughs> <laughs> when you do reality TV, it's like, you're under a microscope from, like, anybody who's watching the show. Every action is, re- like, documented and people will have something to say about it. So, um, I've seen on reality TV shows, like, the guys who do fuck people, how they get, like, crucified on Facebook and stuff. So I was just like, you know what? Yeah. I'm not even gonna, it's not worth it. Like, just the, it's Adam would have done it's everyone good. there, <laughs> including care. Zach or whatever his name was and stuff. All like yeah, the sea life. There'd have been sharks. a bunch of holes in the There's sand. That'd have been that's that's where I was. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you also got to display a little bit of your parkour skills while you were on the show too. So you were doing some flippy flips and some you know stunts and shit like that out there too, right? Yeah. Did that uh, help you? You think in your show, or did that eventually hurt you? Or no, I think it helped because like at first I think she thought I was just another character, like. Oh, it's a crazy flip guy. But then, like, when me and her actually talked and, like, uh, became friends and stuff, she decided to keep me around. It's like, I don't know, like, if it necessarily was a romantic connection, but, I mean, I think it's the fact that me and her, like, had a good friendship right away. And then, like, the other guys that came on were just kind of cocky and stuff. Kind of guys. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, she just, like, rather keep, like, a good friend around rather than an asshole. It's unbelievable when you start actually being a person in front of somebody instead of a character that it works. Yeah, that it's is more unusual. There's, there's a little more than the backflips. And yeah. so that's probably where your audience is more intrigued to see you as the main guy because they want to get to know a little more about you. You should be a show writer. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, okay, so that's a question I've always had because I, I, I do write and I've always wondered what kind of writing actually happens in reality TV? Like, how much of that is actually scripted if you can go into it? Yeah, it's... um. Every show's different. Um, I can only speak on the behalf of Dating Naked, but Dating Naked is not scripted. Um, you show up and, uh, I mean, uh, for, from what I can see, everything was pretty much legitimate. Um, you know, like every now and again, like they'll relocate you. Like, hey, you guys want to go swimming or something? And like the stuff like that. But, like, so they'll put you in a situation, but everything that happens is just... Is, is real, yeah. Like, okay. I'm, like When I say put in a situation, it's like it's not, I'm not revealing anything that the public doesn't already know. Like we start every night at the bar. Mm-hmm. Um, we eventually end up in the pool. My kind of party. Yeah. Oh God, I drank so much in Borobudur. <laughs> it's like I literally like one of the production team like off camera. He came up to me, man. And he was like, "Dude, like you have not been stopping. Like you have not stopped drinking whiskey all day." And I'm like, honestly, I am afraid that the accumulative hangover will literally kill me. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like since I entered this island, death has started walking towards me. <laughs> so I just need to keep drinking whiskey. <laughs> Connor made up for any additional sponsorship money by partaking in as much of their alcohol as he could. I understand yes. that. I was in Vegas it. when you were Bora Bora. And you start walking around with Jim Beam t-shirts and shit. <laughs> uh, I was actually surprised to see that how much of it... Like, like I didn't think you guys would be allowed to wear clothes at all, but there was a lot of times where you were wearing clothes. Yeah, you can wear clothes? <clears throat> to them, it's it's essential that we all meet each other naked because every night of the, at the bar, you're, uh, you're meeting somebody new. Yeah, so, and then you go on that date. Yeah, so like the first meeting of people needs to be naked. Mm-hmm. And then eventually it's like, you know, they can put on bikinis and stuff. And I mean, I, mm-hmm. I for the most part, just stay naked because I was like, whatever. How long was this shoot? Like from the beginning, the first girl, when she started until the end of it, how long was she there? How long was the season? 12, 
12 weeks is 12 episodes. 12 weeks? Yeah. Okay. So, it's a girl question, but you might know. So, what are the girls doing there on their period? Uh, I know. I like <laughs> They just wade in the water just for a lot of time. That's Waiting weird. for sharks. <laughs> did not get into that. I no didn't. strings or hanging you down. You didn't think about it. Ask them. It wasn't. So like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I come up, I do like a naked side flip. I get drunk and I'm like, so like, what are you guys like <laughs> doing? Is that, is that like a shark hazard or something? <laughs> <laughs> so I saw a bear rummaging around last night. Is it true that they can smell you? <laughs> I've noticed <laughs> increased raccoon you? activity. So uh, none of this was brought up the entire time. Which is best pickup line ever. Like, we don't no. think about stuff Nothing. like that. Yeah. People, Probably no, not on the people, top of yeah. People talk more about like boners and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like. I need order. some girls from the show to ask. I mean, I'm pretty sure the women probably at one point had a conversation like, "Oh my god, I just realized what the fuck are we supposed to do?" But I don't think that's a conversation they had with the dudes. Like, I'm just I don't wondering know that they if they're tucking in. their oh, strings up in their lips. No, you, you just know, like every just, scene. Oh my some, god, just like Roman <laughs> Empire, just throw some sand in there or something. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's what they do, right? That's Rub some dirt on it. You'll be come fine. test it, please. Fill my crutch. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. Uh, so. Uh, you guys got nominated, and I know you kind of alluded to this a minute ago, you guys got nominated for VH1's Dating Naked for a reality show award yeah. out in Hollywood, out in L.A., right? Yep. Yeah, and Hollywood Boulevard. you guys went, and you went and did the whole the whole spiel out there. Did you guys win your award? Yeah, we won uh, the award for most uh, unique idea, or most unique concept for a show. Most boners oh. in any show? Yeah, sword fight. That was sword <laughs> yeah. No, that's cool. That's really <gasps> did cool. Boner ever oh, did show? you guys ever cross streams? Um, all right, so I got two questions literally. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> one was, did, was there boners? And one was, when did they cross streams? I think that sometimes those can, those can go hand in hand. Yeah, that's a good point. But, oh, they can definitely um, go. Oh, hand I get, I see what you did there. Yeah. Hand mm-hmm. in hand. Or hand in gland. Oh. I like that. I like that even better. Y'all are going into guy talk. I don't know what that means. <laughs> you were just talking about fu- putting sand in vagina. Well, that was me, but like no, you're talking about periods. Yeah. <laughs> way to deflect. Way to, way to deflect. <laughs> I'm a woman. I can talk about periods. Oh. It's a very curious okay. question. That's your word. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> my word. I forgot my question now, though. Boners. Yes, boners. Oh, uh, boners. The boners happen. She keeps it classy. <laughs> she keeps us classy. Boners. <laughs> um, yes, yes, sir, Connor. Were there any boners so present? My genitals remained um, surprisingly flaccid the whole time. However, there was a couple times where I noticed. <laughs> that shit ton of whiskey will do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he drank the whole time. Yeah, the Connor's like, now. stay down, boy. Go, 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 go. Stay down, boy. <laughs> well, like, I actually, um, there's one guy I immediately, I won't say by name, but I immediately hated. Uh, like, just right away. Such a fucking cockbag. So I lied to him. I was like, dude, did you, I did a lot of research about, like, dick size and stuff before I came out here. And he comes out and goes, oh, yeah, bro, what'd you learn? I'm like, if you pull on your dick real hard, like, by the tip for at least, like, 10 minutes. <laughs> Stop. It'll, it'll, Stop. You gotta use I, lotion too. I told, him, I told him like the elasticity in your muscles will actually increase the size for at least twelve hours. So I'm like, if you do it before we start filming, you'll be set. And he was like, "Fuck, dude, is that a real thing?" I'm like, "Dude, like I googled it's it. on the internet." And he was like, "It's yeah. so like this motherfucker like before every shoot was like just tugging on his dick." <laughs> like, and like a couple times he did it on camera. Like I'd be talking to him at the bar. He's like, "Yeah, bro, yeah, bro, yo, pass me some whiskey." And he's like, <laughs> and I'm just like, "All right, you, uh, like don't fucking do that when I'm talking to you. That's not okay. Like do that in your own time." But, but like, yeah, he ended up pulling on his dick the whole time, and uh, he ended up giving himself. He was like, like well, right before elimination, he's sitting there. I mean, he's just fucking wailing on that thing. <laughs> Like, I felt I felt bad, like <laughs> just for his penis as an individual. I felt bad for it that I did that to it. But oh, that's funny. Like, he ended up walking up to elimination, like just full mast. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I was like, hey, I'm, if you're gonna go out, you gotta go out strong. Like, if you're playing with it the whole time, it's gonna get up. I was like, I'm just happy that I was responsible for his humiliation. Like, you were responsible he, for that boner. He kept awesome. like crossing his hands and putting it over it, and, like trying to. Trying to like, just conceal oh. his dagger and like it wasn't working. <laughs> conceal weapon. Yeah. He needed oh, a permit for funny. that. I don't know if it's, if it's under funny. 22 uh, caliber. You can, you, can, yeah. you can carry it openly. Uh, so uh, you... Wait, did you get your question? We six, had a boner question. What was your question? Oh, I was just eating shit. Say, were there any crossing of the streams, Ray? But that, yeah, no, they're fine. All right. 
Uh, did you? So you guys accepted the award, and I kind of saw ahead of time for this, but you were one of the ones behind the mic actually saying thank you for the award and all that shit out in Hollywood, yeah, right? Um, That's kind of cool. You don't know if you're going to win or not, so you don't really prepare a speech. So when we went up there, it was like the microphone was just right there, and everybody was looking at us. So I was like, <laughs> fuck it. All right, like, hey, everyone. Blah, 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 like, just said some shit. And then, like, uh, Chris from last season, he was there. Chris and Carrie, the two main daters from last season, were there. And Chris grabbed the mic right after and said a little bit, too. But, yeah, it was just, like, you know, improv, like, on the spot. And I pretty much all I said was just, like, hey, like, this wasn't the suits we were supposed to wear. We were supposed to wear our birthday suits, but there's children here, so it's probably best. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Was yeah. that Was that televised? Um, no, it was like a, a stream online, like a oh, live okay. uh, stream on their website. You know, it was cool. pretty cool. So, Andrea and I watch Big Brother. Do you guys, is anybody yeah, here like watch Big, Big Brother? Brother? Yeah, All right. Big so, Brother, my, you don't watch Big Brother. In last Soviet year. Russia, Big Brother, watch you. <laughs> <laughs> um, 1984. The number two, the runner up for the champion of this last season on Big Brother was a guy named Paul. And the character that he portrayed <laughs> on the show was a really cool character, kind of like a punk slash metal dude you know whatever really nice guy but really he played the game exceptionally well and i'm watching some of connor's pictures that he's uploading on facebook i'm like holy fuck that's that's paul so connor uh, at the award ceremony because that was another reality show they were there as well so he chilled with paul and a couple other celebrity name drops that we could probably throw in there but i thought that was cool i'm a big fan of paul it's out there super yeah. Cool. yeah he was he, our favorite uh, paul after the thing we went to the after party and paul came with us and then he came back to our hotel and hung out He's, uh, I mean, he's another cool fucking dude, like, just, like, chill to hang out with, and, like, it, it helps, too, that I didn't really watch Big Brother, so I didn't, like, know entirely who he yeah. was until, like, we started talking, and, uh, no, he's a cool dude, I, what, I was supposed to be moving to LA before long, and, uh, he lives out there, he said, you know, I got his number, he said, we'll come, we'll get some drinks and stuff, because he's, he's <gasps> cool, pretty cool. so we can come hang out with Sweet. you and hang out with Paul, <laughs> he was uh, our yeah, favorite, right? <laughs> it was my first season to watch it. Oh, really? Yep. I haven't really got into it. Adam got me into reality show. As odd as that sounds in a few Yeah, I never watched reality show. TV until, like, they called me and they're like, hey, you're doing a show. And, and I'm like, waiting hey. for Hulu to put your show on so I can watch them all at once. So I've been avoiding hmm. everything. So now you haven't given away anything. It'll nope. be all new. No, we don't know if you won or not. I'm just um, impressed that there's all this stuff so you don't really get to see anyone naked. So it's kind of... You get to see butts. I mean, that's pretty cool. Ass, 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 ass. <laughs> to who? Connor's got a nice ass. If you like looking at guys' asses. Oh, yeah, that's T- take your pants off, show her. Show her. I, no, I want to see the good stuff. <laughs> you you dance for her. No, I've taken my pants off for you too many times. <laughs> I guess that's I'm a done. good point. Yeah, I guess that's for now. <laughs> uh, all right, so are there any other reality shows in your future other than Big uh, uh, other than Dating Naked? Have you thought about a, a auditioning for maybe you Big Brother or some of the other ones? Brother, Connor. Yeah, I've got um, some other things in the works. Nice. I'm talking to some people. <clears throat> um and more than just reality TV, I've got some um, uh, like web series type stuff, and then uh, some this this part I'm really contractually bound, but um, some popular movie franchise uh, surrounding superheroes. Okay, all right, understood. Okay, that sounds that's, cool. Uh, that's cryptic enough, I think. I think I think I know what that means because you know who's ready to retire from being this certain character in Hollywood. Ryan Reynolds, Superman. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, look look at Connor Teenage and the, look at, look at the beard. Indiana Jones six. No, no look at the beard. Oh. Look at Santa the, Claus. Look at the, now, just imagine <laughs> if he held up his hands and there were some spikes coming out the front. Connor, Freddy Krueger. Connor, oh, Connor, oh, oh. <laughs> Connor could be your next Wolverine. Am I not oh, getting Wolverine. Any? All right. I'm just all saying. Right. If I, I have like to cut that out, let me know. Okay. No, 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 no. Just <laughs> <laughs> I like the Santa Claus Freddy Krueger. I know. I kind of see you as more of a Black Widow. Uh, <laughs> I do too. Yeah. Catwoman. Cinematic Capital Black. Cinematic Supergirl. Oh. Uh, He's got baby. Look, as long as he identifies as a baby. woman, then it's fine, right? I mean, if yeah. Caitlyn Jenner's taught us nothing. <laughs> Spider Man. You know, I've always Superman wondered, like, can face. I just walk in the women's bathroom and when they all scream and they're like, "Oh, what are you doing in here?" I'm like. Chill. I'm a fucking chick. Like, <laughs> I like, identify. And then, and then I yell at them. Just be, like, just be like, you guys are like so not progressive. You guys are judgmental. You, you can't. Can, you can only do that in Target. Don't do that in Florida. You yeah. can't get away. <laughs> you can't get away with that because you walk in there, chill. I'm a chick. Like, no, no, no. We saw you on Dating Naked. We know. There's enough. There's enough it's mothers. recent. Coming out day happened right after Dating Naked. There's enough when mothers in this county that they will kill you. But if the cops, if the cops come up, I'll be like, dude. It I'm doesn't a chick. matter about. The cops. The, the cops chick. are most likely help though. You. The cops are under the microscope more than most people. And they're like, "Oh man, we it's can't the, touch him. He's a he's a mothers. chick." But you're also white too. 
It's so mother, they're allowed to shoot. That's yeah. true. They can shoot. And me. also, no, when you're lucky, you walk into the women's bathroom. There's going to be like six other dudes in here going, "Yeah, people say, oh damn it." People always say, "People who say white <laughs> I don't privilege." I've done it as a chick too. People say like white privilege. I'm like, motherfucker, are you kidding? Like nowadays, I'm more likely to get shot because they're like, "Hey, you know what? We can actually shoot this guy," and nobody will say anything. Like, <laughs> Wait, okay. Have you guys seen the thing with the um, safety pins for white people to wear a safety pin because they're an what? ally to all the races? What? No. What? What? Okay. Did you just start the race war over here? What's going on? <laughs> no. Okay. No, I have no idea Did what that I is. Did I dream this? Maybe you dream. That's my line. That sounds like is a fever real? dream. Did you just say? Did you just start? I had a dream in is like <laughs> with okay. to bring up racism. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're doing it backwards. Uh, I don't have to look that one up. No, because our other guest who's up next is. She said she heard about it too. Or who we heard from earlier in the. No, she hasn't been on. Awkward. Well, in the show, we in heard the, from the, her already. Yeah, in the, in the strategy of the Remember, show. Remember, we're in the behind the, the scenes. Okay. Yeah. Well, beers. if you guys would give the women all a microphone instead of all the men microphones. <sighs> uh, Connor really identifies what we're going with this. Yeah, I, I, He's got I'm a check now, No, no, so. Connor is fine. He can She's have a one. microphone. I'm talking I'm about the other three guys in the room. Oh. Well, okay. I see. He's a celebrity. I guess we're done. I guess so. He was naked. He can have a microphone. If I, get naked, been naked. I, I mean, myself? if you come in here naked to do this podcast, you get a microphone. I come in here Just naked say. all the time. I'll get naked now. I've stumbled around South Beach m- naked many, many what times. Kind of I don't remember what any kind of them, but I'm sure. What is C-O-M-E? going on? <laughs> I'm so or C-O-M. C-O-M. <laughs> let's take a break. <laughs> We're getting out of control. All right, let's actually Everybody wrap up. get their clothes on. We'll take a break. Okay. Let's wrap up with Connor. Uh, is there, let's see. I think there were any, um, there's a thousand questions that I'm sure we're going to have for you after the show is over. That's fine. Uh, so how can people get a hold of you on your social media? Just at Connor Hughes on Facebook or Instagram uh, or any of those? Facebook I, I avoid because it's already yeah, yeah. too much traffic there. Um, you on the Twitters? But, uh, yeah, I'm on Twitter. It's just Connor Hughes, C-O-N-N-O-R-H-U-G-H-E-S-V-H-1. And then on Instagram, it's just Connor Hughes, again, uh, underscore V-H-1. Those okay. are the two main social media cool. outlets that I use. And I'm not going to give my Snapchat away because um, <laughs> <laughs> that was a fucking nightmare last time I did that. <laughs> nice. I got, like, I got like, first of all, like, yeah, a bunch of like boobs and stuff. And then um, a shit ton yeah, of fucking I dick pics. Those. A lot yeah, of dick pics, really? Yeah, yeah, a lot of dick pics. I got one guy that was like, <laughs> are you gay? And I was like, no. And he's like, are you bi? And I'm like, again, no. And he was Here's like. Here's a picture. He was How like, about now? He was you like, sure? He told me, he's like, if I pay you five grand, could you be gay? And I was like, no. <laughs> I will suck a dick <laughs> till Monday for five grand. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, I was like, no. Yeah, I, like, yeah, I, won't, I won't be gay, but I, I will happily consider my principles. Yeah. Yeah. yeah of course. $5,000. $5, yeah. You can't change your, your, you know, your essence, but you can is that, suck a like, dick. It was I'm like, just, it was like, seven years is this Ryan Reynolds? Ryan Reynolds gets a freebie. Hold on. Yeah. Like, yeah, you're good, bro. You're good. Come on in. Both <laughs> comes. I know what you mean. In whichever. Ryan in. Reynolds. Um, you're you're going to be hopefully in the here near future on one of our friends' podcasts out of Orlando. Yep. That's uh, the Tom and Dan show. So anybody who listens to us and also listens to them, they'll probably have a little bit more organized type of interview. But uh, good luck on there. Uh, name drop us as much yeah, as you can. Say, name yeah. drop. Oh, oh yeah, what I was your just on living vicariously. <laughs> so, yeah, and I'd like to give a shout out to the guys. Yeah, they, they've been real great. <laughs> <My boys. laughs> no. And girl, and girl. The, the, well, the, the boys the back in the like, yeah, it's like the whole. Yeah, thing. I'm, like the whole I'm group. not even certain. They, they do this. I identify as a chick, and I'm still going as one of the guys. So. <laughs> they, they do this one show. Then you're like not identifying living as a lady. somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty living good. Living vicariously. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Found it. <laughs> oh, damn, I never heard that one. <laughs> I think we should trace Connor for the for the whole symbol. Oh, of the trace him. Oh. oh, draw no. him like one of Actually, our French girls. You know logo. what? That's the a really logo. good point. So our logo for Living Pod, curiously, and I don't have any. I don't think I have it anywhere in here. Is a uh, uh, a female a beer bottle with a female figure that's silhouetted inside. That, yeah. That's Kim Kennedy's figure. We used her in the photo shoot for it. She came and posed for our shoot. We did it, and then we did some silhouetting to it, and that's her bot. Maybe we should have Andrew might be onto something here. Maybe we should have a 
male model yes, sideways, a silhouette. Sideways. We'd have to change the if whole introduction. <laughs> real guy if it's, talk. Well, the problem point. is, like, That's a good if, point. It's, if it's sideways, Thanks for grounding us. if it's sideways and I'm naked, like it's going to have to be a panoramic. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they can add the, the uh, We saw the show, buddy. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we saw the show. You can't lie. Nice try. <laughs> yeah. They didn't see the show because it was blurred out. There was, you know, I really there was, don't mind that idea. That's kind of a cool yeah. idea. There was one dude that came on the show and he was like, uh, Talking about how big his dick is, like off camera and everything. He's like, "Yeah, I mean, I got the biggest dick on the island," and I'm just you like, "No, we can see." I'm it, like, right? and like the thing is, like, it wasn't by any means true. And I was just like, "You know, you're naked." <laughs> <laughs> like that shit only nice. works like in. Oh, this days. always works in the club, <laughs> dude. Back no, home. okay. So the so okay. So the weirdest story I've got. Uh, I'm a vet. I was in the army, and uh, when you first show up to basic training, they have you in these in these barracks. It's like. Yeah, like 150 dudes, like in one room, oh, and you're God, just waiting. So hot, yeah, oh, so hot. <laughs> yeah. and you're Uh-oh. just waiting to process in. That's all you're doing. You're just doing your paperwork. They're shaving your heads. They're you know dressing we you up like a tree. Days in my boot camp. Days. Yeah, because you were in the navy. No one cares. Um, <laughs> so oh, you're a theman in the <laughs> navy. <laughs> when the when, <laughs> so what happened is we had this one dude. Like you, it's base showers. It's like 15 dudes in the shower all at once, and it's locker room That's rules. T- typical Saturday night. Yeah, basically, <laughs> and it, it's locker room rules. Shoulders up, you, nothing exists. This one dude walks in with a third leg swinging between his ankles. Johnny Uh-oh. Pendulum. You can't help but look and admire. You have to like, dude, what is going on like down? Thigh and it's, it's not even gay <laughs> at this point. At this point, <laughs> no. it's just morbid curiosity. Like, do women run from... And he's there, Captain Morgan, stancing his ass in the shower. <laughs> just like, that's right, I'm the king of all I survey. And we're like, dude, do women run from you? In horror. Matter of fact, the only yeah. attention I ever get is when I'm in a locker room full of guys and they're asking me about it. <laughs> you know, any, like, did any of that ever forward, happen? He, he could use it as a fucking kickstand. Yeah, he's just like, ah. but um, hey, let, yeah. me take, let me take some stress off the legs. But um, <laughs> yeah, there was actually I wasn't there for this, but there was apparently some dude that just had a massive dick, and I was just like, you know, like. Thank God I wasn't there for that because, you know, it makes me look better. But <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, like, one of the uh, the production team, they were the wittiest motherfuckers. Like, they, I actually went on there and one of the guys was, like, s- focusing the camera. And I was like, you got your wide angle lens, right? You don't want to miss anything. He's like, I'm not worried about the lens, homie. I'm making sure the zoom is strong enough. And I'm like, <laughs> damn. Nice. And then, like, this one guy, he, uh, he was, like, the cast wrangler. Like, he hung out with us on camera and off camera and stuff. Yeah. And, uh... That dude was running his mouth about how big his dick is. And he was like, I was sitting down. And he's like, man, man. He's like, Natalie going to pick me because my dick's so big. And like the one of the production guys goes, wait, biggest dick on the island? He's like, yeah. And he goes, Connor, stand up. I stood up and he goes, hmm. And just walked away. I was nice. like, oh, thank you for that. I wish that was on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask a uh, technical question about the show real How quick? big's your dick is what he wants to know. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. What, uh, what were they shooting on? What uh, cameras? I believe there's red red cameras. Oh, I'm not nice. sure which one. Maybe like I, I don't know. Red Scarlet. Red Epic, the, maybe. Yeah, red Epic. That, yeah. Nice. Something nice. like that. Okay. Nerds. I They'd sure have to it, shoot me in IMAX, <laughs> baby. I wasn't sure if it was like a Canon, like you know, five D or something like that. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. No. I, you know, Mark II, of course. They were shooting sure. on all HP webcams. This is yeah. iPhones. They're just like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. fuck depth of field. We just, <laughs> <laughs> we don't need that. I've got the slow mo thing. <laughs> <laughs> right. But. I can make it sepia. Look, look, I can slow it down and you can see the mosquito gives you Zika. <laughs> <laughs> Were the bugs bad out there? I don't know if we covered that at all. There, was, was, there was like no bugs. Really? It was oh, so nice. Nice. It was paradise. Yeah, just dick in the breeze and nothing trying to Damn. tear it up. The only thing you gotta be careful about me is sunscreen. I've never had sunscreen my dick before. Oh, there was that one dude that was <laughs> fucking burned like all the time. I was like, I feel so bad for that dude. Yeah, dude. Like he was one of my people. Your dick will turn into like a little red pepper if you're not careful. Like, <laughs> Mine will? Because the thing about Bora Bora is there's a hole in the equator right there. And the heat is different in Florida. Florida, you feel the heat. Like you actively feel it. It's in the air. The humidity is high. And Bora Bora, it's so crisp and dry out and like hmm. doesn't, you don't really feel hot. But you burn at like such an like an alarming rate. So wow. like, you know, like you walk outside to get your towel and you come back and you're like, Aah! like you're all red. Holy and like shit. my first three days there, I just didn't do anything to my dick. And then like woke up in the morning and like went to go scratch it. And it was like, oh, you burned your cock. Oh, that's a mole. Yeah. That, that was, is a, uh, that's a bad <laughs> place to get a burn. No, no, no. It's terrible. It's so, sit in. and like, have you ever like, it's weird applying sunscreen to your penis? Cause no, it's, it's not. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> I was like, do I do like a two finger dab method or do I just like, 
lather up the palm and like just get like the whole circumference <laughs> like was, i don't know uh, don't so the, the audio of that was good tack but the visual in studio was where it was really <laughs> at all right i'm just saying that was just for you <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like the kid from pete's elliot from pete's dragon learned how to paint a wall just up and down <laughs> like daniel son daniel like mr me yeah. 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 show me some show me penis. paint the fence <laughs> <laughs> show me sunscreen penis <laughs> <laughs> is that how he got the yellow car at the end of the movie <laughs> I see now. Uh, we got to wrap this up, man. We got to wrap this up. This is getting right. off the rails. Uh, Connor, thank you for coming in very much, man. We appreciate it. You know, you're a guest in here. Is anytime you want to come in, friend of the show, if there's anything you want us to do that can help you out on social media or if you're trying to get into another reality show and you need some, some kind of attention from uh, fans or something out there, just let us know. And whatever we can do to help, we would love to do. So, um, just. You know, if anybody listening, just go ahead and follow me. That helps me out tremendously. Like any sponsors that I have, um, and any gigs I've gotten is actually, I get contacted more so through Instagram than I do on my work email. Oh my anything. God. And like, I've, I've been sponsored by a couple like clothing companies and, um, like sports companies and stuff. And they sponsor me strictly through like Instagram. That's how they contacted me. Gotcha. Like, just like through. So, you know, um, Instagram is, is, is huge for me in, in this career field. It, it's weird that nowadays like a career could be built through your presence on Instagram, which is like completely mind-blowing. It is kind of shocking. Yeah, but it's like for entertainment, and, as like an upcoming stuntman or actor, it's like if someone clicks on your page and you have like 400 followers, they're not going to take you seriously. But if you have like 13,000... That's, that's actually true. Uh, when I was, I used to be in a band in Jacksonville and we met with uh, Atlantic Records because we were get, trying to get a record deal. And they, one of the first things they ask us is, how many followers do you have? Yeah. Like, that's major. It's, it's a big it is. Deal. And, like, the problem is I actually got no blowback <clears throat> from Dating Naked on Instagram because <laughs> I don't know why the fuck I did this. But apparently when I first made the account, I had it as um, private and unlisted. So all those hashtags I did didn't count for shit. So oh. after, after the show had already finished airing, I realized that and, like, made my account public. So it's, like, I think I have, like, a 1,012 <clears throat> subscribers, which is, like, that's nothing. So... Hmm. Um, I'm hoping once it airs in the UK and I'm, I'm public now, like once I see my episodes start airing, I'm start posting a bunch of shit and like throwing a bunch of hashtags nice. out. Nice. I hope that gets some revenue. And I don't know if you caught this or not, but the <laughs> irony of a clothing company contacting him through social media <laughs> yeah, to right. sponsor a guy who is naked for his reality show. <laughs> right. Well, it's funny. They, Just like, saying. They, the uh, last company that sponsored me was like, they make protective gear for like dirt bikers, skiers and all that stuff. And they, did uh, they make sunscreen for dicks? Yeah, that's what <laughs> it right. was. It's like this new, <laughs> this new cock cream. But, um, no, they like, they were like, Hey, like we saw like your parkour pictures and we're thinking about making shoes. And like, we'd like to know like what would a parkour athlete be looking for in the perfect shoe? And I was like, well, make it extremely fucking grippy and lightweight. Like that's really, nice. it. like that's all, all you really need. So. Oh, well, sweet. All right. Well, dude, thank you for coming on. We greatly yeah, thanks, appreciate man. it. It's good seeing you again. Yeah, and, buddy. uh, I'll make sure you again. don't be a stranger. Mm. Come back in again. Oh, I will. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, we're going to take a break in studio and we'll be back with Andrea's Guyery segment. All right. Thanks. Hey, Felix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you guys going to like kick it old school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick it. And welcome back to Living Podcariously. This, we are going to go into something a little bit new. Andrea finds some really cool online articles about things to add to the show and she did it again so we're gonna go andrea is going to introduce one of her friends that's going to come in and read this list for us another friend in the studio yeah another another, 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 friend. another friend in the studio Jesus christ so, that lady chase is getting fucking packed man <laughs> uh, i love my girls so this is andrea's segment but she's tossing it over to, to her friend and it's called 14 things all southern girls Oh, excuse me. 14 things all Southern women know to be true. And we're going to give our input as to whether or not it's bullshit or if it's pretty accurate. All right, Andrea. Oh, no. You won't know if it's accurate unless you're a Southern woman. Oh, okay. All right. So this isn't about their men. No, no. It's stuff women know. Okay. It's what uh, Southern girls... I I, I don't know. I'm not... As we've learned prior, sand can be used in lieu of a tampon. (laughs) Shit like this. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? If it's it's the girls from country songs, all they know is like (laughs) sitting in the passenger seat of a pickup truck on a dirt road, apparently. (laughs) Every country song ever. He's always going to love his dog more than me. (laughs) (laughs) Listen, if one of those is don't take underwear on a one-night stand, then you know what? That's true. I mean, we, uh, we have another 
podcast called The Twisted Ten, and it's I decided I'm not doing that anymore, so I got in touch with my friend Ginger, so she's doing The Twisted Ten for me on my turn, so she wanted to add a little to the segment, oh, okay. All right. so let all me go right. get her for you guys, because she wanted to add something to this show, too. <laughs> Connor's <laughs> looking around. Where is she? Do we have you know, I don't know why I... I like when you started that sentence. I don't know why I thought you were gonna say the twisted tampon. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a new segment. So he's like naming, tampon. renaming all of our shows. I, right? I like that. It's all right. <laughs> Spinoffs. <laughs> all right. Where's Ginger? At? Starring Connor Hughes. Directed <laughs> well, by Connor Hughes. Well, hello, gentlemen. My name is Ginger. Uh oh. Hi, Ginger. How are you? I am doing great. How are you? Where's wow. Andrea? Where did Andrea? Yeah, go? you sound just like Andrea. Do I? But you have like a forced country like accent. So that's that's kinda... smoke and mirrors. Smoke and oh, mirrors. So I smoke, uh, smoke and mirrors. <laughs> it, it, exactly. I mean. <laughs> you, you just go with it, mister. What's your name? Uh, well, I'm Cornelius Bradshaw. <laughs> Cornelius <laughs> Bradshaw. What a hell of that a made-up name. That is a wonderful name. My mm, I do declare. Oh. I do declare. He declares well, everything. Well, I just I wanted to come in and just let you guys know a little bit about the Southern Woman. Oh, okay. All right. This will be a 14 things all Southern women know to be true. All right. All right. Awesome. I do your coil. Number one, if you don't have something monogrammed, you can't sit with us. Whether it's simple as your daily planner, as intense as having your entire bedroom covered in your given initials, monogramming (laughs) is a way of life in the South. I don't know who was the first to come up with the whole thing. I assume it's become sorority girls had trouble distinguishing their belongings from one another. And this was their brilliant solution. All I know is that I receive at least one gift every holiday, birthday or special occasion that has my monogram on it. And I know that by t- default, I'm supposed to love it. I'm glad you clarified what monogram was, Ginger, because <laughs> there for a minute I'm like, wow, what is I know, monogram? Like, what is that? You didn't know. You were thinking monogram. You were thinking about having to press boobs between two plates of glass. I think this is just some chick who couldn't afford to have her cell phone bedazzled, so she tried to figure out how to be cool in front of her friends. (laughs) Ginger, when you talk, I feel like I'm watching like the um, Kentucky, like the KFC commercials. He's like the five dollar chicken bucket. Come here and get yourself a free cookie. (laughs) As as we all know, the KFC bucket is is monogrammed with KFC. It's monogrammed. I I will go with my Kentucky girls, but they're a little. Ginger, okay, what what are your initials, Ginger? My initials? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What are my Where initials? Where in the South are you from, Ginger? Because you don't got a thick molasses. G-U-N. Gun. Gun? God damn it. So <laughs> that's you. Ginger. Do you ain't got Ulysses. the Louisiana. Nelson. You don't got the Louisiana. Nelson. Ah. Oh. That's my family. I know. Are, are you based at where? In Number South, two, Texas? you have to <laughs> learn to accept camouflage as a wearable print. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What is that, mossy oak? Is that what that shit is? Oh, my God. <laughs> Nothing says love like dressing up your bow like a tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what the good thing, though, is like if you're out on a date with him and Predator shows up, they both have the visibility thing covered. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh. Exactly. you got to have a true Southern Oh, gentleman. my man looks so good when he's sitting up in his deer stand. As long as he's <laughs> in his camouflage, you just accept it. Number three. Wait, hold on. With the camouflage, is it disrespectful if I spray deer piss on the camouflage before I give it to the person? Like, <laughs> that's how it's supposed to work, right? No, I think no. so. You're spot on there. No, I no, no, no. Okay. You give him a can of the spray to go with the camouflage. I thought it was a can of skull. A- does he put, does no, he put a dab by any that's, tear? That's in addition to. Got it. Uh, Got it. But you don't want your present to smell like pee because that's not hunting. That's given. <laughs> Puts a dab behind each ear. But there you Did go. you get that? All right. Number three. Let me know. Number three. No newborn baby girl is complete without an obnoxious bow or flower strapped to her head. <laughs> oh, Typical Instagram filter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a good call. <laughs> All right. Number four. There is no greater hangover cure than Bojangles. Oh, I love me some Bojangles. Wow. Bojangles. Let, a- let me just say this is serious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is one of the greatest truths. I have ever known, and I feel sure every true Southern girl agrees. 
A Cajun filet biscuit with bow rounds and a sweet tea will literally give you life. Especially after you spent the better part of your Saturday night drowning tequila and wishing you hadn't sent all those text messages. <laughs> well, I do down, declare, I do come believe. On, come on down to KFC to get that biscuit she was talking about for only five dollars included in the bucket. <laughs> I do believe there's no other cure for brother of the dog like a mint julep. I'm a conservative man. I'm a gentleman of the highest order. <laughs> I do declare. Why, why does Jay sound like a KKK Grand Dragon? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a Grand Wizard, boy. Oh, sorry. I I thank you very much to get my why title your, right, sir. Why does your pillowcase have holes in it? <laughs> <laughs> All the better to burn them with, my dear. Ginger, oh where, my Ginger, God. what state are you from? Where are you from, Ginger? So we I'm have, from Georgia. You're Georgia. Okay. I'm from Georgia. You know, Florida doesn't technically count when you consider southern states as in as in a culture. Florida is a melting pot, so it's a little different down here. So coming to Florida from Georgia, do you see a lot of differences between? You know, the the cultural stereotypes from Southern people here in Florida? Well, I haven't been vacationing here very long. But if I'm here longer, I will definitely let you know if I see the difference. All right. Holding doors, you know, Maybe normal I'll, courting. Maybe I'll come back some other time and I'll let you know how my vacation went. Well, apparently there's a really nice lawyer that lives down in Melbourne. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, you don't have to worry about his dog barking at you does anymore. Does he like true. animals? <laughs> I think he, I think he does like animals. I think he's still recovering. Yeah, yeah he's, he's uh, in the market for a dog. Right? He's mourning. Yeah. <laughs> well, and now this is important too. This is number five. All right. I don't know this lawyer's name, but there's something about a man whose name starts with a J. With a J. With a J. We have a J in studio. Yeah, but we have two of them. Josh is, and Jay. Yeah, but my first name is really Jaime, so I don't really know if that counts. <laughs> well, let me just uh, yo, say. Yo, what if my name's Jamal? <laughs> when it comes down to it, the most prominent men in a Southern girl's life all have names that start with a J. From Jesus to Jake Owen <laughs> to Jack God. Daniels, Jim Beam, and Jose Cuervo, you get the picture. Josh Thompson's song, Way Out Here, says it best. We're about John Wayne, Johnny Cash, and John Deere way out here. But uh, aren't they building yeah. a wall to keep Jose out, though? Yeah. I mean, I felt, I think. <laughs> Not in Georgia. Yeah, no. I thought we were making America great again. <laughs> <laughs> this is the South. We have our own way about doing things. But <laughs> I'm a white man in America. I grab people by the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Had to be said. Had to be said. Well, I, I must say number six is very, very important to a Southern woman. All right. The bigger your hair, the closer you are to God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jay. Does it have to be the hair on the head? <laughs> No, no, I guess not. Can you rock rough and stuff with your Afro puffs under the belt line? Because I've got some hair like I'm like huge. <laughs> Wait a minute. Like, what did you just say that again? No, can, can you rock rough and stuff with your Afro puffs? Come on, that's Lady of Rage, dude. <laughs> well, a little or a lot <laughs> of never volume hurt. never hurt anyone. All right. She was in the dog pound, wasn't she? <laughs> <laughs> she was. Yeah, actually, she was on death row. You're right. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> well, I'm sure Mr. Adam will agree with this one. There's only one kind of tea. Sweet. Sweet tea, mm. and Nothing. Southern girls have a very Wait, unique way to say Adam it. Are you calling Adam fat? Is that what you said? <laughs> oh, no, no, I, no. Adam no, done no. got himself a case of the sugars. He done changed his no. blood type from A B positive to two. Darling, <laughs> all I'm saying is that nothing makes a southern girl as ill as Hornet quite as ordering a tea at a restaurant above the Mason Dixon line, only to be brought a putrid liquid that bitch slaps your taste buds. <laughs> It's a crime, folks. I feel like this article so is trying way too hard. get out here with that peach tea and green tea nonsense. Tea is meant to have sugar in it. <laughs> All right, got it. That was a stretch, man. That that was oh. a... <laughs> All right. <sighs> That's a tea in them. I feel like I understand sweet tea intimately. Now. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. All right, number eight. In a religious sense. <laughs> the seasons of the year are a necessity. In the Ooh. South? Ooh. There are no seasons in the South. <laughs> Not only for our sanity, but also for our wardrobes. Southern girls love buying boots and scarves just as much as they love to buy sundresses. Tack doesn't like boots, Ginger. I don't know if you knew that or not. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, And apparently sorry, neither does dear. his girlfriend, but she really does. I'm, oh, I'm so not sure how we think about that. What? And I don't like tea, so... Oh, but as you can bet your sweet ass, as soon as that weather in any season gets too hot, Southern women will take to social media to raise cane about their hatred for a 100-degree weather heat. Pollen takeover or three inches of snow keeping them from leaving their house and we can count down the days until the next season arrives. It's just what we do, okay? 
<laughs> raising cane, I think, is the most southern thing I've heard so far. My nana used to say that. Well, I'm going to raise cane if you don't get over here. I, She's I, crazy I, as I'll get out. I the think most I'm southern thing I've y'all more is, about women. It's like, we don't like your kind around here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Number nine, southern gentlemen are a dream. And a Aww. dumb one because they don't exist anymore. Uh, <laughs> I woman, hold my skull while he holds my bear. I'm hey, going to out the window. Cletus, give me a bear. <laughs> oh, Chivalry is not dead, Ginger. I'm just going to tell you. Mama, how nice. All right, number 10 is department store sales will empty your wallet. <laughs> Black Friday, my ass. No other event will get you, your mama, and your grandmama up at the crack of dawn like a good old doorbuster sale at Belk. Hell, <laughs> even some good gr- great grannies might show up to raid the racks and fight a bitty for that perfect multicolored moo moo. <laughs> Shit gets real and it gets real fast. I dispute this. Wow. I think the biggest fights I've ever seen have been at a garage sale <laughs> or a yard sale if you're being technical. Yeah, dude, and, uh, when, you, when you really want a lava lamp, you like you gotta grab that shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I bought a lava lamp at a yard sale when I was like fourteen. Just saying. <laughs> Everyone has. Yeah, you walk by and you're like, "Well, that just speaks to me." <laughs> yeah. And you you always have the argument: Does it work? Yeah, of course it works. Plug it in, dude. It's gonna take like six hours to heat up. <laughs> I got I got time. It's Saturday. Uh, it's I'm my ten dollars. I'm putting this away. on hold. Yeah. <laughs> then the guy's finally like, just fucking take it. <laughs> yes. Well, I don't have much to say about this one because it kind of speaks for itself. All right. Mary Kay, Tupperware, jewelry, etc. Parties are a way of life. <laughs> Tupperware parties in the South is pretty pretty. Uh, Stereotypical for the southern women, that's what, for sure. This one it? here, you can put things in, and this one is like, it's got a bigger circumference, so you can put more <laughs> things in it. <laughs> What's the southern perspective on passion parties? I was passion just going to ask that. Parties. Ooh, Ginger, that's a good question she for you. She may not know what that is. A passion party? What is a passion party? Well, I imagine a good Christian woman like yourself wouldn't understand what it's like to have a the gathering. The passion of, of the Christ. <laughs> 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 old, old people are calling for Jesus. <laughs> that's when we get our hair even higher so we can be closer to our Lord and Savior. Well, I'm pretty sure so. Young lady, young lady when you say passion raised. of the Christ, that warrants the question. Is it the Mel Gibson passion <laughs> of the Christ? <laughs> It's all you, those Ginger, passions. Do you, Ginger, do you really not know what a passion party is? No, it no? is a passion party. It's, it, it's basically sure. what's going on now. Passion it's a bunch party? of women surrounding themselves with a bunch of dildos. Um, there you go. Much like you find oh yourself now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's all sex toys, Ginger. It's basically a Mary Kay party, but with prosthetic phalluses. With dongs, yes. Yep. <laughs> well, as a lady, that is something I will not speak about. Well, as a lady, those <laughs> are the only people asking fashion parties typically. Or anywhere where anyone can hear me, especially the low. <laughs> Number 12. Number 12. I love how she raises her hands every time she says the Lord. Agreed. The Lord. It's a miniature prayer. Gossip is a given. Oh. I feel like that's true with any woman. (laughs) You, your friends, your mama, even the ladies in church will always have something new to tell about about you, about someone. Regardless if it's good or bad news, you can't wait to lend your ear and hear the 411. Anytime you hear a southern woman say, not to be a gossip, but you know you're about to hear something that will most likely make your head explode. Like nice. he thinks he's so hot because he's in L.A. Or she's <laughs> not even that cute. <laughs> wow. I love it. Hey, uh, Ginger, have you ever seen Steel Magnolias? <laughs> Steel Magnolias. I love that movie. That I is I so, figured as much. I figured as much. I love With fried it. green tomatoes is a battle cry. <laughs> you know, Jay, you're right about the the all women do gossip. Southern women have a unique way about them when they get together to gossip. It's almost the the better news you come with is the social status that you have for that conversation. I've always pictured Southern women gossiping just being like a, a hen house full of women who sound like Boomhauer from King of the Hill. <laughs> the thing is, they don't do it behind each other's back. They'll say that right there with the person right behind their back where they can hear them. Yep. <laughs> Gotta love some southern women. Number fourteen. Catorce. <laughs> number four. Wait, Five did you skip thirteen? I am so sorry. I did number thirteen. I'm Trece. so sorry, number gentlemen. 13. Number thirteen is very important. Always act like a lady. Oh. All Unless right. you find it impossible in certain situations. 
in this event, always pretend to be a lady and hide your crazy around your mom. What she doesn't know hopefully won't kill her. <laughs> Yikes. I feel like that's an actual legitimate threat in the South. Like, what your mama doesn't know possibly won't kill her. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that, young man. <laughs> like, all- da- Daddy done fled the sheriff. He's coming back for mama. <laughs> <laughs> This is our last one before I uh, exit, gentlemen. All right. Number 14. Number 14. You thank God every day and twice on Sunday that he chose you to be raised in the South. Not saying it's the only way to live, but it's definitely the best way to live. There's a reason Northerners retire here after all. Oh, she's curtsying oh, okay. for us. All right. Very Thank good. You, Ginger. Ooh, Thank I got a you. nice shot there. Thank you. Thank you, Ginger. <laughs> Ooh, that's a southern girl, right? I know so, for sure. So, Ginger, since, before you go, tell me, what was it like living on the island with Gil- Gilligan and the Skipper? <laughs> what island? I'm from Georgia. Raised you've on got, a look, You've got the Fusky and Tybee. <laughs> I've never left my plantation. I oh. Uh-oh, she's on a plantation If now. she leaves the plantation, oh, she no longer owns people. That's, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> um, if well, I leave, I'm no longer from Georgia. Uh, all right, so Ginger, I've listened. I turned off all these other mics in studio in here. It's just me and you. Nobody can hear us. Nobody oh, can talk to us. Hey, sh- yes. Sh- yes. What was your name? Uh, my name's Adam. Um, Adam, oh, your friend or cousin? I don't know. Uh, how do you How do you know Andrea? Andrea, she came and ate my peaches on my plantation. Okay, perfect. Um, she's really into forward women that propose sexual acts with her man and her together. So, oh yes, uh, you want to go talk to her and maybe uh, you know the three of us can. Well, what is it that you're going to do for me? Oh. Uh, Why don't, don't you don't come know. back to me on that and you just let me know? Well, I got turned down by a... Do you have a dog at home that likes to eat panties? Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> Ginger, thank you. Thank you so much for doing the 14 Things Southern Women Know to Be True. We appreciate that. Yes, and if you guys want to hear more from me, I will be doing an episode of The Twisted Ten. That's right. You can listen to that this week as well. All right. When we come back, uh, you need to swap and like high five tag team with Andrea on your way out of here. She's got a segment she needs to do when she comes back uh, for our uh, diary segment of Living Podcariously. Thank you guys for having me on your show. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Thank Andrea. Peering into the inner thoughts and expressions of men. Women submit questions for Adam and Tack to get brutal, honest admissions. We call this the Guyery. Guyery, really? Is that the best we could come up with? All right, guys, you guys ready for some questions? Where yeah, did Ginger definitely. go. Ginger was a nice girl. Yeah. She had some weird ideas about. Stuff in the bedroom, but uh, Adam was trying to yeah. get a threesome. Wait, Tack, what the what guy code, man? What the hell? What are Sorry. you doing over here? Hey, man? hey that's copyrighted. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> guy, <laughs> co- guy code? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, sue me. Get get us some attention. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our first question is from Valerie in Florida. Hi, Valerie. Hey, Val. How much should I spend, or how many gifts is good to get my boyfriend for Christmas? Oh, there's a lot of going into this that you yeah. need to know. How long have they been dating? Just get him some fucking socks. <laughs> Actually, believe it or not, I asked Andrea for socks and underwear for Christmas. I need I, them. Yeah, I want socks. For I them. lose yeah. them. I don't know where they go. I'm the one that washes them. I'm the one that files them in my drawer, and they still go missing. <laughs> as a woman, that's just a given. It doesn't count as a Christmas present. You just that's just you I'm buy actually, it. I'm trying to get a girlfriend quick because I need cologne. Like that's <laughs> yeah. I, you know I'm running out of cologne because I have good. a girlfriend around the holidays. Maybe that's if really you good have one. cologne, you need a you'll Christmas get a girl. girlfriend for cologne. Christmas yeah. girlfriend for Columbus. It's like Gift of the Magi. It's the cuffing season. That's all this is. You know, it took Andrea to tell me that Axe really doesn't smell good on a grown-ass man. <laughs> so, Axe uh, doesn't ever smell good. If you smell like <laughs> Axe, I promise you there's never been a woman who's been comfortable in your car. <laughs> Uh-oh, that might explain a lot of my dating life before you then. I mean, like, who, like <laughs> I want to smell like an Axe. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah if, you, if you're like 13, it's okay. If you're wearing axe, you abl- you deserve to have a fake I, pen. And I, I, I went through an I went through an axe 13, phase too. Jay, I, Did you? I, I no, axe is thirteen axe is, is okay to wear axe. axe I come from a different culture. Like, At thirteen, we're wearing curve. Thirteen's cool. No, thirteen, I was wearing polo. When I was wearing <laughs> curve when I was thirteen as well. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. 
And then you move to X? <laughs> Are you on? I am, yeah. Oh, there you go. What about Drakkar? What, was that was that rapey? I used to wear an axe, but oh, then yeah. I realized that like I'm not like 14 anymore, and I'm not just like finger blasting my girlfriend between like Call of Duty sessions because like I'm too afraid to actually have sex with her. Like that's that's what axe reminds me of now is like that age. So like now I've moved on to like you know bod because I'm a sophisticated adult. <laughs> that's, that's good. But wasn't awesome. bod axe before axe was axe? Isn't axe that... just reminds me of a guy who didn't gave, take uh, a shower. Axe axe. Maybe bod was the inspiration behind a Kid Rock song. Oh shit! What? Bod with the bod, the bang is stop it, diggy diggy. God whatever. damn it, stop! Come it. on, I, hate I you love so much. it. I love it when I when I throw out a joke and it's a dead room afterwards. That's I the best dancing. sound in the world. I, hope I was just quiet because I was dancing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did we answer uh, the question? Or? Cologne, is, Cologne is the best answer. Twelve, there. honestly, Cologne. I think it's how Jay many. Nailed it. The question is how many. Oh, and, and oh, yeah. How much? Like, what? How much did you get? <laughs> There's a comedian in Brevard. I don't remember who who did the stand up, but they said all that they ever want for their birthdays, for Christmas, for Father's Day, for just blowjob. Just, that that's good. That's a that's a perfect. So gift. some cologne and a blowjob. Christmas done. Yeah, the blowjob's great, and then the clone so we can like. Disappointing guys. Eyes. Yeah, I mean, if you can, <laughs> as we've learned, women in the South like monogramming shit. So if you can monogram the, the that's cologne for the bottle, women. Yeah, not for the I guy. mean. Well, just to oh. let him let him know that That's you're from the south, gentleman. firmly from there. Where's uh, there it's kind of uh, Dixie or um, Daisy, Daisy, Daisy or and her friend uh, Kiana, who I lives think at. I Connor likes him some Daisies. <laughs> no, who <laughs> is the southern one? Uh, that ginger. Ginger? ginger. Oh, Ginger. Ginger. Yes. <laughs> it's kind of funny me? you guys talking about the blowjob thing because it's exactly what I told my girlfriend today on the phone. You want a blowjob? Like, I was like, just give me a blowjob, we'll be good. <laughs> but that's yeah. ridiculous. I asked Adam if I can get a blowjob like three times a day. You so <laughs> how would that be a present? <laughs> well, I, don't, I mean, put a, I mis- gotcha. put a mistletoe I gotcha. over his belt four times a day. <laughs> Is it four? That's the present. We've moved up to four. no, no. no. You, oh, if you go with three the and then add one, that's the present. Just say Merry Christmas, or I can go. If he's it's <laughs> June. What? What? Merry Christmas is June now. What's a real present for a girl who gives blowjobs all the time? Hum a Christmas carol as you Toothpaste. do it. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. You're still talking how, about me. How about mouthwash, mentos? How about that grill? About me. How about that grill set that we talked about on the Twisted Ten? Right. A grill set I can give you while I give you a blowjob. Oh, I thought we were talking about real gifts. Okay, oh. but sorry. to answer the question as far as how much and how many, yeah. look, get him one gift. If he, if you guys have been together long term, price it between fifty and a hundred bucks. If you've been together less than two years, don't spend more than fifty. More than fifty, less than two years. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's good. I bought you a okay. T-shirt. And if he buys you an engagement ring, well then, <laughs> run. I guess I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> Don't yeah. marry a guy who proposes on Christmas. Come on, be more creative, fellas. If he's a lawyer who lives in his I own think house, it's very romantic. <laughs> yeah. so you should definitely say yes. If he's to a lawyer right? that lives in his yeah, if he's a lawyer in mourning the loss of his dog, be careful. <laughs> 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 Jack, uh, I, I think this is a good one for you to answer. Oh, oh, it is. Oh, okay. Um, well, definitely, if it's a guy that may have been on like a reality show where he's naked dating chicks, no, I'm stay I'm with saying, that guy. I'm saying for a guy oh, like you, for a guy that's like I know, you. I know. Um, um, what? How much should gifts be, and how much should many? Gifts I, I like what get? Jay said. Jay's, Jay's got a good answer, but it also depends on the relationship. Like, a, me and my girl haven't been together too long, but I still would get more than like two for her you know it's yeah. been probably a little more than that yeah no i mean if you find a bunch of stuff that's you know like easily afford don't break the bank is what i'm saying like if, if you're concerned about how much yeah if you're concerned about how much you're spending money. Then, yeah. yeah don't so don't if go it's out something of really sentimental you're just like this person would absolutely love then yeah if you find something that's definitely this person it, yeah go for it go go nuts if you do too much and it's too early it actually comes across as, as, as yeah creepy. that was my next it's question it's like hey I paid your mortgage. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. a good point. I, paid like, I own car, part man. of your house now. <laughs> like, if I, like if I just started seeing a girl and she wanted to get me like, I don't know, a gift membership at a BJ's or a Sam's Club. Hey, cool. Way to look out. Now, does that BJ, like, is that the same BJ? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys just totally made you this totally way You totally misunderstood when I said BJ. <laughs> All right, so women, don't spend too little. Don't spend too much. Don't get too many. Don't get too much. That's your advice. Sounds good. You know, here's what you do for your boyfriend. However many inches his dick is, is $10 towards his <laughs> gift. So if he's a six inch oh. or $60 gift, if he's a little bigger than that, then you got it. But only one gift. <coughs> what about Santa Claus? That's separate? 
<laughs> yeah, when you, you mean like when you buy him a gift and you write Santa on the No, letter, when yeah. Santa Claus comes oh, okay. on Christmas Eve. Oh, this geez. is just what she's going to buy, not what Santa's buying. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. That's right, yeah. Santa. Cause, yeah. Santa's different. Yeah, cause, I, mean, you know. <laughs> I don't want a blowjob from Santa, though. Let's yeah. clarify that now. <laughs> Maybe Gandalf will swing by, too. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Would you want plans. the story, though? How many guys can say that? That's a good point. Well, a lot of I, kids might be able to say, Santa touched me. That's not a good story. I saw daddy blowing Santa Claus. <laughs> she breaks out in a song every once in a while, by the way. The core of all daddy issues. <laughs> daddy really wants that new Call of Duty. <laughs> all right, oh! Let's move on. Number two is from Melissa okay. in Florida. Hi, Melissa. Hey, Mel. <laughs> I know that we are living in the 21st century. And I know women have the right to oh, have as many sexual partners as they want. It's going to get good. But are women with a lot of sexual partners a turn off for men? No. This is an individual answer. It depends. Uh, let's go one by one here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to answer this one last. Jake, yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go last. last. Yeah, I'll go last. Adam, you're up. All right. So with me, absolutely not. It doesn't matter. But it does matter how she's handled her life. If she's incredibly promiscuous in her past, but she's safe about it, that's... And she's honestly safe with herself about it. You, then that that's important. But promiscuity is just—I mean, that's just human that's nature. Totally opposite what you told me. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, you told me it was admirable and lovely, and you love the fact that and fuck a lot of guys. No, that's true. But that's about you. We're talking in general for women. Yeah, but wouldn't oh, would oh, that Connor- make me more desirable by not sleeping with guys? As opposed to the one who slept with a ton of guys. That's what this question it's is. For every guy. It's, it a, it's a different, it? different answer. Yeah, absolutely. I see your point with that. Yes, There's but a lot of variables. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Connor. Just so you know, the guy read questions are when, when people submit what. What are you saying over there? Totally I've, I've heard answer. you talking about guy reads. From what it's like you've told me. This, this is what we call a loaded question, Adam. This is no, 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 not this submitted all the by Mel. This yeah. is actually written well, that was, by That's what I was going to tell Connor. These, women, he can't so, get in trouble from this question. Women so submit trouble. questions for dudes. The women submit the questions for us to answer on air, that, and we answer them honestly. <laughs> I'm just calling however, you out for not answering honestly. However... However, this is also sometimes an attack opportunity for Andrea to get back at Adam for something. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Fuck Adam. But maybe it's how I heard. Maybe it's the maybe it's the way that I heard the question asked. Ask it again. Ask her question. It was Listen, kind of a long one. You, Andrea, and and Ginger can work Are this out later. Are women with a yeah. lot of sexual partners a turn off for men? Are women with a lot of sexual? Yeah. No. He answered that question. So, yeah. Fine. He, no, he, he likes the fact that you didn't, but that doesn't mean if you did, it'd be a turn off. No, Correct. it was just that yes. I had heard from him before that that is a turn off, it, and then it changed. So how does that oh. make you feel? So no, Into no, mic, I'm just you, wondering. You have to start like, paying me for the session. If this is supposed to be real and true, <laughs> which one's the true answer? Am I getting true answers from you guys? But he, what he's I'm saying good? is it's more complex than that. There's there's variables now that need to be complex. considered. All right. Do I find it attractive that you haven't had a lot of history? Yes, I do. I didn't see me. That, I under, yeah, yeah, you did. Turn. But that also doesn't change the fact that it's not an unattractive trait. If somebody has had a lot of partners, it just depends on how they went about it. So, no, that's mommy, it. daddy, I don't like it when you fight. Yeah, Tech, we're not what, fighting. Let's Tech, what on. do you think? <laughs> no, he's just saying it's a turn off and a turn on all in the same sentence. All right. So that so wasn't answering let's, the question. Let's get the next. Wait, let me, let me do it. So skip him because he doesn't have an answer. Let me do an Someone old host Someone give me a good here. answer. <laughs> no. Good answer. If you uh, didn't see it, solid. he pushed forcefully on his microphone till no it was no longer answers. in the general vicinity of his face. Just an actual one. Uh, so I think you know it's it is a case by case basis. However, I don't want to go into too much into detail. But I was with a girl one time, and after we had broken up, because I had asked her, we had had that conversation. We were together, and she was like, "Well, I don't want to say," and I was like, "Whatever, good point. All right, let's not say." And then once we had broken up, because you know, well, she cheated on me. Um, I was like, so how many have you had? And she told me a number that I was like, holy shit. <laughs> like, I don't even mathematically I don't even know how that was possible. Can you, um, yeah, can you tell specify us the numbers. numerically? <laughs> I want to know the numbers, Give it to me yeah. imperial. Like, let me hear. <laughs> yeah, we need to know. Um, would anybody like take a guess? 63. 78. One million. One. Dollars. It's definitely between 70 and one million. <laughs> Damn! Wow! Holy Over shit! Three thousand? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was um somewhere in the ballpark of like a hundred and sixty. Fuck! S- wow. I thought that was bad. <laughs> That's what I said. Jeez. No, right, I didn't so- say that, but I was like, <laughs> "Holy shit!" I was like, "Wow!" And, and when you have a high number like everybody's that, had a ride. 
<laughs> right. so, so is that like, a turnoff, wow. guys? Is that 163? You know what? 163? Three, a turnoff? That's, uh, for me, it's like the way a woman, and I know this is totally like, you know, sexist or like totally Trump of me, but like the thing is, <laughs> the thing is like, depending on how many like partners a woman has is how I will consider like how far I'll go with her. So like if a girl's like, yeah, I've been with like, you know, 60 or 70 guys, I'm like, well, I'm not going to date her because A, any girl who's talking to a guy texts nudes to him. I don't want to date a girl that like 60 other dudes have like pictures of her tits. That's not cool. So like, <laughs> like, yeah, I'll, I'll like hook up with her or talk to her or whatever. But like when it's coming to, like someone that I want to like chain down and last for a while, it's like the lower the count, the better for me because like I don't like finding out shit later. But you know, we're talking about threesome. She's like, yeah, I've had sex with like four guys at once. You're like, wow, you know, I like, <laughs> probably would have liked to know that from day one. Like, but what's cool is that when you have that picture and then you show your buddy and they have the match. <laughs> Same one. <laughs> like, oh, that's like bros for it's life. It's almost like finding you know? out that you and your buddy both have a Charizard. It's like, that oh my God, we could, so we could destroy oh everyone. Oh my God, I can't believe that. You find <laughs> out you're Eskimo brothers adorable. with everyone at the mall. That's adorable. <laughs> what's adorable? The, the that's Charizard? That's adorable, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, is that, who are you nerds. <laughs> So my answer, uh, I don't care. I will never even consider asking a woman how many, cause everyone's got a history. I've got a history. She's got a history. I prefer, like, 168. I'm impressed she, she kept count. Like, that's <laughs> what I took away from that. I was like, that's impressive that I slept. No, that you kept count that high. Like, that's pretty cool. I'm not even awesome. mad. I, I, like, I'm not <laughs> even, I, I, yeah, it's just, wow. I lose track. I lost track after like seven. Like, I just stopped it reminds me, count. It reminds me of that scene in Clerks where he finds out. <laughs> 37! 37! <laughs> Try to just suck any dicks on the way back to the car. <laughs> in a row? In a row? Yeah. No, I don't, I don't give a shit how many people she slept with it's not my business right, as, past long, is your past, as right. long as you're not adding to the number while i'm actively with you then i don't right. give a shit it's right. i agree it's that's none of my answer. business i don't care i like a woman who knows what the hell she's doing right you and that's that? generally my consensus too your past your past whatever i don't care but when you know that kind of a number is a little it, higher than i was it expecting. Is i mean it's higher than i would expect if it came up like oh shit okay well that's it was a bit surprising okay. <laughs> plus hearing that number after i find out she cheated on me like you know <laughs> kind of like adds, you know, salt into the wound. So. Not to mention, it's like, like you know, all the ladies out there, like, if you have a number, don't fucking lie about it. Because, like, I dated a girl who was like, I've only had sex with nine guys. And I was like, all right, cool. Like, that's straight, whatever. And she, she like, preached that. And then, like, it wasn't until, like, after we broke up that I heard a bunch of guys like, dude, yeah, I know her. Like, dude, I actually <laughs> fucked her. And, like, oh, I'd, be, I'd, be at the, I'd be at the bar and, like, four dudes would be like, I'm, I know it sounds like I'm exaggerating the story, but literally, I was at a bar one night and two guys were there who had fucked her. And were like, dude, yeah, I got like, is, is it like, are you gonna be mad at me if I have picks? And I'm like, no, yeah, let me show you, bro. I'm like, all right, like, <laughs> like, like, we had a bro moment over that. Like, we, had, oh, what? Like, you play Call of Duty too? Like, I've got, yeah. and I was like the same thing. I was like, oh, you fucked her too? Like, here's the picture. So, but, isn't that is, there's a term for that, right? Eskimo buddies. I saw yeah, that in Eskimo, the movie. Eskimo brothers. Tunnel brothers. Es- yeah. yeah, it's from yeah. it's from uh, it's from the league. The league. Oh, That's right. I like you, tunnel buddies. You got me better. watching that. <laughs> that's right okay she was lying about nine guys she lied yeah she said that she had only been with nine and then it wasn't until i talked to other guys who heard like when she was drunk at parties and like talking about her number and one day i caught her talking to her friends like her girlfriends and one of the girls was like oh my god i can't believe i've been with like 53 men and then she was like oh man like wait till you get on my level and i was like bitch what like Where did I, I thought we were at nine, <laughs> and then sure what? enough, it came out to be like it was like forty something, and I was like, I if you would have told me that day one, life. I would have ex- I would have been cool with it, you know, whatever's <laughs> yeah. part of your past, <laughs> right? Did I just like miss something in life? Into the mic, sweetie. Did I just miss go. something in life? A lot of dick. You missed a lot of dick. A lot of dick. I didn't miss number six. Now I got you. That's commendable. That's good. Good job. It's admirable. Wait, yeah. everyone else is like, oh, yeah, it's 50. No big deal. And you see how none of Do us I give a shit. So you've, <laughs> you've been missing out for no reason. <laughs> like, guys? Go do it. No, that just makes me throw up. Let's move on to Go number three. <laughs> but you guys said, well, I mean, I just get the watch. Here, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like God. in the scene from Airplane no, when they're like... waiting to beat up the girl in the line. They're all waiting <laughs> with different yeah, instruments. Yeah, yeah. One's got a wiffle ball bat. I've yes. got it. We'll have a catch up Andrew Joy Living Podcariously live episode. AKA Bukaki. Where we get a bang. bunch of guys come in and they'll just catch me up with all the other women in the world. All right. Oh, this sounds fun. Do we charge admission? Of course. Absolutely. Right. Dude, we're going to be rich <laughs> as fuck. We'll have, we'll have enough money to sew your pussy back up when they're done. How much is it per person? <laughs> $40. 
Oh, dude, come on. Man. I was thinking I one million. Right wow. Oh, a million bucks? Wow. He was trying to help you actually get the number up. Like, he was giving <laughs> a legitimate, like, yeah, yeah. okay, you, do you really want to get the I wish You want to play golf or do you want to fuck around? Like, what do you want to do? I wish my number was one. That's good, good old Southern girl, you know. <laughs> oh, you sound exactly like this girl, Ginger, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I suspect I suspect that Ginger is a closet slut, but I'm not sure. <laughs> wow. Look at you, only a few minutes with Ginger and you're already oh, gossiping. Oh, <laughs> so well, the geez. things I did with those six guys, I will not repeat on air. Let me tell you, Ginger <laughs> spent a lot of time with a millionaire on that island. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> and his wife. <laughs> when it comes off. to my men, I'm about quality, not quantity. These oh, guys know no. me, baby. You can't do. You can't say that. They know me no, very well. I'm talking about what I give to the guys. Oh, okay. I'll right. agree. How with that. long after something it has expired is it still considered quality? <laughs> like after you cook in like the fridge, meat, like three steak. days, three days. You got three days. I got three days. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> All right. After All right. it's been after I already cooked it, it's three days. All right, number three, Alexandria in Ohio. Alex, how do guys feel? about how much their date girlfriend uses social media. My guy gets so annoyed every time I pick up my phone. I do admit I spend a lot of time on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Okay, she sent this question to us while she was on a date, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and Put your fucking media. phone down. You're on a date. <laughs> and she was listening to the show while she was on the date, which triggered her to send in an email to show at Living Pod Curiously yeah. for the guy every second. <laughs> nice Put part. your fucking you phone like down. You, it's, it's a, what, a two-hour date? You can go two hours without checking your phone. If he was checking his phone every five minutes, you'd be bitching up a storm because he's not paying any attention to you. It, I, you know what? Sometimes I, sometimes I want to feel like a pretty little <laughs> tulip, too. It's, you know, uh, like, it's Jake from State Farm. Who the fuck is Amber Alert? Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Why is she telling you where this little girl is? Are you in? A, are you a pedophile? <laughs> are you an Amber pedophiles? <laughs> That's fucking gold, right there. That's oh hilarious. God, you didn't make that up. Holy shit! Amber Alert. <laughs> That's the same girl that looks at a mall directory and says, "You are here." She's like, "How do they know?" <laughs> <laughs> Did you make that as that original joke? That How long bitch. have you known Amber? <laughs> <laughs> Holy <Bitch>. shit. <laughs> Why does she have a little red emoji? <laughs> Why does her ringtone sound emoji. different? <laughs> Why is she a special one? It's not even fair. <laughs> her car's yeah. not even that good. Why is she bragging about her car? They're so bad, so bad, so bad. Amber Alert's important. In 98, no, no, no. Children. Why is oh, she. Shit. She's proud of a windowless van. <laughs> Two oh, doesn't do Ford Focus? Whatever. I'm, go- I'm going to hell in a handbag. Oh, that's oh. so good. Is that an original joke, Connor? Uh, that was good. Yeah, it might be. That's that so not. funny. That's hilarious, dude. Jay's going to steal that. You know that. that, 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 that no, 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 I'm not stealing that. I would I'm absolutely wondering if pay I heard you for that. that somewhere, but I don't think there I is a There's an internet page you can no, go to to look up jokes, that. right? That's like you can actually type in the joke it's and like it does an a search IMDb for it. thing. Oh, yeah, for oh. jokes. I, well, it I might have saw it on Facebook or something. Oh god, that was fucking hilarious. That oh was god, fun. <laughs> that was definitely the November <laughs> joke of the month. <laughs> Very good. Very I don't good. even know if I can ask another question because I, I think we should end the show with that. I don't, did we even answer her <laughs> question? <laughs> what, yeah, what was her Jay did? Yeah, no, I said yeah. Put your fucking phone down. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I'm the same as him though. Like, if I'm on a yeah, date and she's constantly got her eyes on her phone, like. It's a turn off. Like afterwards, like I know for me, like my career, I promote through social media and it's important. And like, I know that not every girl's like, you know, fucking doing the same thing, but like, I don't know, girls are more in tune with like sharing pictures and stuff like that and like, you know, content on the internet. So like if we're hanging out and like we're already kind of established as a thing and like I'm sitting down and like we're watching Netflix and she pulls out her phone and like she's, you know, on Instagram or that's fine. Whatever. Oh, yeah. But like, it's like when you're, when you're meeting somebody for the first time, like on a date or something, trying to engage you're supposed in to, conversation. Yeah, you're supposed yeah. to like compromise some parts of you to make yourself seem like approachable, like not being on your phone. Like I know I put mine on vibrate when I'm on a date just because like, you know, I don't want to get like an email and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I, I know your grandpa's sick, <laughs> but I got an email from someone and I need to answer it now. Like I, I'd rather this just living pug curiously wanting you to come on their show. <laughs> yeah. No, like <laughs> no, but kind of totally fucking nailed it. Like if I'm on a first date, especially if, if I want to date with you, it's because I want to get to know you. And right now, all I know about you is that you check your phone every goddamn five seconds. And that's, that. okay, cool. Don't expect, oh, he's such an asshole. He ain't call me back. Oh, she knows I ain't call her back because she's always looking at her fucking phone. <laughs> so you know if she didn't call you back. 
as I'm sitting here on Facebook right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we we're not on so, a date this so, time. Kyle. So another word, Wait, this isn't words. a date. I'm going home. Don't do it too soon. Like, don't, if you're on a date, well, don't spend do, time it, with the person you're with. Yeah. After yeah. the date. Right. Like, I'm a comic. I'm booking shows. I'm promoting shows. I'm telling, you know, I'm posting up where I am. But if I'm on a date with you, I put my phone away. Yes, I'm so. actually working on my phone. No one gives a shit what you're eating. All right, stop. Just ah, uh, sorry. I care. <laughs> I care. Struck a nerve. Jay's been hurt. We uh, Tack Phones and I are agree. Bad. Yeah, we, we agree. Yeah, we agree. Move on. Perfect. <laughs> you agree with each other? With, <laughs> with both of both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put your phone away, both especially first date. You guys agree with each other. You said nothing. <laughs> you disagree? We agree that we agree. We agree. Awesome. It's like it Let's depends. On. Like it depends. Like for a guy now, I, I know it sounds like you know very um not equal, but like. It's okay for a guy to check what? his phone only because, like, you never know, like, if, like, you know, oh, like, mom's texting me that grandma's in the hospital. Like, you know, this chick sent me some, like, fire-ass nudes. Like, you need to, you need to check that on the <laughs> spot. Hey, hey Connor, <laughs> I, I just want to say one thing. I just want to say, uh, did, did you know that girls have grandmas, too? That's, no. <laughs> I have a grandma, and I'm not a girl, so <laughs> no, clearly but, you're but wrong. Really, really, <laughs> girls do have grandmas, too, and their moms could text them and say grandma was sick too the only time i will ever check my Touché? phone the only reason i would ever have to check my phone on a date is because i have a kid so if i if right. my phone buzzes Kay. i'm sorry i gotta see if this is my kid nope screw Back that if yeah. i have my kid i got a babysitter i know they're taken care of and i don't need my phone. you know what your phone on a date is like your phone at work it's like you, you hear it go you hear, you hear it go boom and you're like, oh, you check it. And you're like, oh, okay. I just buddy wants to a drink tonight. I'll put it back in my pocket. But yep, it's like, that's it. it's like, you know, your dad that's has right. been shot. You're like, like, fuck. All right. Hang on. Dad's shot. I need to go like talk. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> like I, I just found out it's disrespectful. Apparently, if you're on a date and you put your phone face down on the table. I always put my phone face down on the table because I I don't give a shit what's on the screen. How is that disrespectful? Because you're trying to hide. Well, I don't carry a purse. Yeah, I don't carry a purse, and I'm not gonna. I have a giant fucking phone. It's uncomfortable to sit with it in my pocket. You don't carry a purse. What the fuck's wrong with you? That's like (laughs) yeah. I should carry a a satchel. satchel, I I have the phone. I have the phone that Little Wayne pours champagne on. Is that her? Yeah, I was noticing every time like you put your phone face down. Yeah, it's been it's been making me mad for a long time. Yeah, no. Somebody told me that was crazy disrespectful. I was like, what? You talk, I'm, I'm no, putting it down because I'm it paying makes attention sense. to you. It makes sense. Connor kind of explained it a little bit. It's so that like if a notification pops up, you don't want somebody to just look on it and see who the notification is from. Why? Well, because, 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 like, it, might your because it might be your It might be your next date. <laughs> because like, so that's why the girls are getting mad then. <laughs> if you're hiding your next date, well, that's on your we phone. tangented the fuck that's out of that, that yeah. one. I don't even know where this is going. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> this Put your phone yeah. down. Yeah. Pay attention to the date. Yeah. Well, next. I mean, it goes back to Amber Alert. Like, if it's on a first date, and then like, <laughs> who the fuck is Amber? But, like, it goes like, it goes like, if you're on a first date, and like some girl like sees like Kristen liked your photo. I mean, she's in her head, she's like, well, who the fuck is Kristen? Like, immediately, <laughs> someone who likes my photo. Whoa. Like jumping, jumping to like conclusions. Like he's probably gang banging this Christian, Christian with his buddies. <laughs> yeah, that's how girls think. I mean, like, you want, like you posted totally a picture of your dog and she liked it. And, like, yeah. <laughs> that's how they start thinking when they're like sixteen, and then you get better as you get older. Really, where are these women at? Because they're older. It, it takes time. Not to grow twenty-two out of it. or however old. They are. <laughs> All right, she next went, question. Beth from Georgia. What are four qualities that would make a girl a catch? So, oh, we should each get one. Okay. Yeah. I, I abstain. Okay. Josh, you got to fill it in. I do declare. Oh. I say sense of humor. I want to listen there. What? My what? Wait, I can hear. <laughs> <laughs> She's fucking drunk. Do you realize? Oh, uh, holy shit. You can hear these answers. Well, So the question is four characteristics. You said you abstain. Uh, four qualities to make a girl a catch. You, you have to go ahead. I said sense of humor. Great in bed. Josh and I agree with that one. Great in bed? Yes. Sense of humor? Uh, For me, a huge one's fucking like loyalty. Like, a if I see, huge she's, one. If loyalty. She's, if, she's texting, <laughs> if she's texting like a shit ton of guys or something, it's like, you know. Like, or if she's on her social media during a date. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going back to that one again. <laughs> no, no, please. Like, I don't know. Like, if I just see, like, if I look at a girl's phone and it's like, you know, Jacob text message. And, you know, like, Eric text message. I'm just like, all right, why is this girl talking to so many fucking guys? Yeah. Like, so, you know, to me, it's just like, you know, and, like, obviously, they could just be friends. But to me, she it's like. She could be gay, though. 
Uh, then why is she? That doesn't work. No, yeah, guys, I think that guys don't goes have like, against the cat. Like, like girls have a catch. best gay friend, but guys don't have a best lesbian friend. Like, isn't why like, not? No, like guys are like, oh my god, listen to what Karen said today. And like the lesbian well, friend's lesbian gonna be friends like, not going to like that. I used to have a good lesbian friend. <laughs> All right, loyalty. So hang on, like, let's catch up for the answer. So we got sense of humor, great in bed, loyalty, loyalty. and Jay. Um, and Jay? Shit, a pulse? I mean, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a change. Um, <laughs> I do like when uh, that, that strays outside of my norm. The legal ability to drink, I guess. <laughs> oh, no, oh, I'm, oh. Below, I'm below that one right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, uh, okay, so you said the tax sense. It was sense what makes a girl a catch. Okay, so. tax that sense of humor. That's a big. Oh, ability to carry a conversation. Be, I was going to say smart good. intelligence yeah. or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. Be able to carry a conversation and I'm fine. So she's got to be loyal, smart, Funny, be able to talk. talk like a minx. <laughs> we able able God to, damn it, we all belong in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> and have the ability to speak English, apparently. That's all Jay needs. <laughs> oh, no, no. She can speak Spanish, too. I'm bilingual. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. We didn't say that. Hi, Bobby. All right, next question. All right, this one's from Casey, wait, Casey in Florida. Is sex in the shower overrated? Yes. Oh, <laughs> I actually don't have any experience. The, the sex water, in the shower. I think the it's water, underrated. The shower sex, like though, it's great. You know, steamy. Oh, you think about it, it's like oh, it's just like in the commercials for Trojan, <laughs> like steam. No, if, what sucks is like the water washes away any lubrication she's producing, <laughs> and you end up having to like spit in your hand, and, like do this weird thing. Like, you have to do it like eight times, and like it's just not. That's what, that's what uh, the like hi- conditioners pool. for. The height. Oh god, has- no, that burns their vaginas. Yeah, <laughs> the height has to be right. It's you, you slip. Somebody ends up breaking a leg. The curtains come down. Yeah, no, fuck that shit. Fuck it in all its holes. Yeah, no, underrated. I don't have any experience in sex in the shower. You don't have sex in the shower, Ty? What, um, what about our? I'm willing guest? to learn. If you're, what are you doing after this? Do you get dirty right. while you get clean? <laughs> I got this. Cool, I got this what girl. About, in. What about our special like secret guest? Do you have anything about sex in the shower? No, it's great. Yeah, yeah. no, it's underrated <laughs> as far it's, as I'm too, concerned. It, you fall down. <laughs> it's what? I mean, I just I don't have coordination issues like that. No, I'm good. It just works. So I think what, I think there is something that changed throughout. Ch- so when I was younger and I had like a little apartment in Cape Canaveral that yeah. was you know, a little hole in the wall, you couldn't have sex in that shower because it was so small. Now I've graduated. <laughs> I got a nice, <laughs> nice size shower. I think it's underrated. I, I love it now. Is, have you gotten you? bigger since then? Has it? My belly certainly gotten well, bigger since then. Never mind. Just oh, you mean the work. size of the shower? Well, we try it out. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've tried that out. Oh, with tack. Let's go. Wait, what? Right. They're no. fine. There's enough people in here. <laughs> we'll be back in a little bit, That's right, guys? Builds. Sure. What? What? No, but what about <laughs> swimming pool sex? Well, he was saying that, you know takes away lubrication in the water. What about swimming pool sex? Because that's always important and stuff. And swimming pool sex isn't so great. <laughs> yeah, because it washes hurts. all the way all the lubrication. That hurts. <laughs> Ooh. It's rough. I mean, it's fun. You get super horny. It's just fun because the whole fun of it. Right, right. But it's not what everyone says it is. Yeah, I just don't think. I, no... I don't think it's practical. I think that's what it is. It's more. It's nuanced. It's fun. Like, oh my god, it's, it's so naughty because you're outside. Yeah, but uh, uh, as far as like the practicality of it, I, I, I don't think. Look so. at him. This little pervert. Give him a microphone. <laughs> he has it. He's carrying it. <laughs> yeah, this little stuff. pervert. Tell me stuff. Yeah, Wait, who's yeah. the pervert here? I'm the pervert, so you tell him stuff. So you we're both sexual pervert. deviants. So no, no, he needs to learn perversion. What's going on? <laughs> so does that make me a sexual pragmatist? No, is that no. What, is that what the I? The perversion on his face is priceless. I need to hear this. I mean, I already said I enjoy having sex in the shower. Well, then that's now why it's I'm laughing. Point and I like having you. sex outside. It's also fun. <laughs> oh no, sex outside is fantastic. It's in the pool where it gets. Yeah, no. Sex outside yeah, with Corrine? nature? <laughs> Is that a bear? Are you on your period? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Let's throw some sand in there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Number six, Amanda in Florida. Are guys really afraid of commitment? No. Uh, she it says all depends. Room full. <laughs> it, it all depends on the situation. Uh, there was a time where I was, um, and I absolutely did not and was not looking for a relationship at all. Until I met my girl now. And I was like pretty much single for like six years. Um, I tried it a couple of times, but they didn't last very long. Um, but now I'm not, I'm not afraid of commitment with my girlfriend right now. Aww, so. Prince Tack. Prince Tack. <laughs> well, I already know Adam's not afraid of commitment. No, I'm not afraid of commitment at all. I, not anymore. 
I, I mean, really, yeah, it's all it all matters on who's who the who the girl is that you're potentially going to be committed to. Yeah. If she's committable, then I'd be afraid, but no. But you're the super sweetest, sappiest love muffin. I got a reputation to hold. Oh, Don't let these oh. guys know that. Take that out. <laughs> Wait, you're not the pussy destroyer? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like my, my game name? He's the boss. He's pussy slayer. I say yes, sir, all the time and call him the boss. What's going on? Whoa, what happened? <laughs> that was an accident. Sorry. No, that's all right. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, I was afraid for a long time, but that's just because I was burnt in my last real serious relationship. Now I'm at the point where, uh, I'm not scared of commitment. It, the, the idea of committing doesn't scare me, but I'm not ready for it. Like, I'm not, yeah, yeah. you know, I'm at a point where I would, you know, I, I could pick up and move any minute right now. And I like, I, I kind of need that freedom. Not that I would ever leave you guys here at the podcast. Oh, I, I stay, yeah, I, we already uh, now it's too late. We'll, li- we'll live Skype you in. But no, but like, let's say I get an opportunity to like move out to LA and do something, or I get an opportunity to move out to New York and do something. Like, really, just leave us, just up and leave us. Like I, that. I'll Skype in. Somebody's got to use that phone number. Um, <laughs> <laughs> good call. Nobody's but, called. Speaking of that, we need to talk about that on the show as well. That's a good point. point. But I'm, I'm not going to enter into a committed relationship, and you know. Be, I, I, I can't do that. Like, I'm not at a point in my life where I can make somebody and prioritize somebody. It, it, it's and just that. some a, girl comes along, she's going to sweep you off your feet, and I'm going to be like, who the heck is this guy? Because you're going to walk in like. No. No, I'm actively avoiding. She's going to use yeah. the show no, as J101, by the way. you walk in yeah. looking like that, mm-hmm. I'm going to be like, oh, my gosh, Jay, she's the one. <laughs> Whenever this happens. Yeah, and that, yeah. 20 she, years from now. Well, 20 two years from now, it's a whole different now. story. I'm talking about today. Today, I, so today I, said, I can't do could it. Could be two weeks, could be 20 years. You never know. All right, I Pussy think, Slayer. I think, I think <laughs> guys are more afraid of like planned commitment. Like to me, it's like the way I see it is like if you go out looking for something, like look, you're look, like looking for a relationship, you have a hole, like a void that you're trying to fill. So you're willing to settle at that point. And I think that it's the person that comes along when you're not looking that makes you realize there's a void like you know someone that like comes along is like oh wow this person's fucking awesome like i need to tie them down that's better than when you're out like hey like oh i fucking need a girlfriend like right about now you know exactly right awesome answer yeah Mm -hmm. love that prince connor prince pussy (laughs) slayer i was just about to say he's now the prince (laughs) the disease prince Prince pussy slayer you have now been crowned (laughs) a prince you are a true gentleman (laughs) pussy slayer only (laughs) because pussy was taken (laughs) All right, number seven is from Natalie in Wyoming. I've heard that guys are insecure about dirty talk in the bedroom. Is this true? And how do guys feel about girls talking dirty in bed? Uh, total turn on. Yeah, yeah I want to feel the I want to feel the back of your throat with the tip of my cock. Like yeah, yeah. No, that's no. Bring it on. I don't know. I kind of like the whole like you know. The uh, whole daddy aspect, that's a good thing for me. Like, <laughs> we all, yeah, we all know I love a woman with daddy issues, so yeah, that's totally <laughs> all right with me. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, so, yeah. The, the, that kind of talk is a very big turn on to me, too. Different folks, different strokes. That's all that is. Like, some, some guys aren't Ooh, into it. Strokes. I'm totally down for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm down with it. Either way. Stroke it long mm-hmm. and stroke it hard. Hi, your mother, Trebek. <laughs> My day has come. The first part of the question is, um, they've heard guys are insecure about dirty talk. Is this true? Insecure uh, about it? No. About yeah, doing no. it themselves. I don't know. Oh, oh. I thought you meant like, you know, some I mean, girl's like, oh, no, your dick is so no. big. And you're like, stop. No, yeah, I mean, you're always, <laughs> self, you're always self-conscious about it at first because you don't know if Shut that's going to turn her off. You don't know what she's into. So, like, if I, you know, if I was just to, like, you know, it's like choking in bed. You don't you don't want to just go to that move because you might be committing a felony. So you gotta do like toes in the water. Like every now and again, yeah. just let out a little fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, see where that gets you. Yeah. Yeah. So if that, get, if that gets you, like a little like, like if she turns her head choking. back and looks at you with a little look, you're like, okay, good. All right, it's like, I love your pussy, and then like she's like, what? You're like, fuck. Yeah. All right, there's like stuff. Yeah. But she's yeah. like, yeah. but she, my she replies like, oh yeah. You're like, all right, cool. Green light. I, let me think of some other sick shit to say. Yeah. yeah <laughs> or let me just state the obvious real loud while I do it. Yeah, you like me fucking your pussy? Well, obviously she likes it. She's doing it. Like, <laughs> I want to wear your underwear. Like, what? <laughs> Nothing else, stupid. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry, I'm just trying to get creative. Trying, trying, to, <laughs> trying new stuff. It's a dumb and dumber reference now. It seems like a comedy show, I would think. I'm trying to picture a guy saying stuff like that. 
Yeah, you can go ahead and do it. Let's try it and let's do it. And yeah, no, we're not. No, we're not. Okay. I'm not, I'm not yeah. You, you, you tell pass. me the dirtiest hardcore stuff you can possibly say, and let's see how that goes. Are we doing this? Now? I don't enjoy you crying during sex. I want to fuck you in a graveyard so the spirits can watch. <laughs> What? <laughs> What'd you do? What the, the fuck? I didn't say creepy. I want to deflower and desecrate at the same time. I would love to spend oh. an entire night I'm... disrespecting your body. Is that what Amber <laughs> Alert likes? Is that what she likes? <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's how Amber Alert became Amber Alert. Mm. <laughs> uh, I can hear you. <laughs> that was for you. All right. It's your Ford Focus. <laughs> Last one, number eight from Stacy in Florida. How do you feel about women who get plastic surgery or even Botox to change slash enhance their appearance? Oh, God. Stacy. I think we got a question real similar to this once before. Did we? Yeah. A long time ago. I'm Old sure house. questions are hmm. going to be similar. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't like it. I mean, I can understand if you're like a mom and you get like a like a, I guess a lift or whatever. I'm not sure what it's called. I, I, I can understand that. I see that. But oh, I are don't... you referring to breast augmentation? Yeah, the yeah. augmentation. That's what I was looking at. But hmm. as far as like getting implants or Botox, be comfortable in your own. To me, the sexiest thing is a woman who's comfortable in her own skin. That is a huge, yeah. Uh, yeah that co- no. It's like a woman wants a guy with confidence. You know what? Shit, I want a woman with some confidence too. Agreed. Right? That's a really good statement. Totally on that. So Prince your J. stretch marks from childhood. Oh. No, she'll never call me Prince J. <laughs> <laughs> what? What'd you say? You call your your stretch marks from having a baby your tiger stripes. Battle wounds. Damn right. Hey, shit, uh-huh. go for it. I got one time as pretty as tiger stripes. Makes you a kitty cat. Hmm. Oh, that's what makes you a cougar. I just got <gasps> it. it out. Yeah, your tiger Crack stripes. That code. <laughs> <laughs> We're all that's actually her. pretty funny. <laughs> what, what qualifies a cougar as a cougar? The tiger stretch stripes. marks are tiger or tiger stri- <laughs> tiger stripes. God damn it. Yeah, oh. I feel I feel like if I'm with a woman, I'm gonna accept you no matter what you look like. That's <laughs> and if you're confident about it, I can understand having some mild insecurities, that's fine, but that's where it's my job to make you feel okay about them. And take it away, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Spot on. Okay. I just, yeah. I, I it hey, you're you turned it off. Oh. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm cool with like, uh, like surgery and stuff. The only thing that really fucking annoys me is when these women get like the Botox in their lips. Mm-hmm. And like, I see all over Instagram, like all these girls I follow are like, you know, rotate, like they're like videotaping themselves through their selfie camera, like slowly rotating their face back and forth while raising their eyebrows. Like, look, I'm, I'm actually, I'm trying to act promiscuous, but really they're just trying to show off their lips. It's like, you look like <laughs> a fucking duck. Like whenever I see like there's giant inflated lips, all of you either look like a, like a transvestite or a duck. Like immediately. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't like Botox at all. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I, I want to point yeah. out, I don't think, I don't think plastic <laughs> surgery is a turnoff. If a woman got it because, you know, she really felt bad about how she looks and, Okay, that's fine too. Be comfortable with it. I'm not saying it's a turn off, but I do appreciate that 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 comfort. I just wanted to clear that up before I started getting hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Unless her titties are touching the waistline, then you know. depends on who you're doing it for. <laughs> Some guys like that, you know, <sighs> with the breast blending with the belly. If yeah. you're doing it for yourself, <laughs> mm-hmm. that's awesome. Power to you. If you're doing it for yourself because it's for you, yes, that's for you. Yes. If you're doing it for someone else. Do not do it. One hundred percent. Yes. Absolutely. No, but you know what that it comes down to like every girl who's ever got their tits done. It's like, why'd you do it? I just want to feel better in low cut <laughs> shirts. It's like bullshit. You did it because like you want guys to be like, oh fuck yeah, I want to jerk off on those. No, like, no. <laughs> it's not for the guy, it's for the girls. So girls will be like, oh, you're really so true. Free. That's why girls get all dolled up all and get makeup pretty. and all that. What makes me not believe it is when I have girls. to see them. I almost know guys so many don't th- notice just from Instagram. Anything. Guys don't notice it. Girls get pretty for see, each I, other. See, it kind of like I yeah. feel like you know, like the whole it's for me. Then why am I like seeing so many fucking increased cleavage shots on your Instagram? <laughs> yeah. If it's for you, because why do you have like an extra pretty. 150 likes on all your pictures? Now? Because then they feel pretty. Because then I need to follow likes. his uh, his followers. Or I need to follow who he Connor, follows. It's Just because go do a naked dating show. People people like her. I don't think I would get the same. Like her, right. That makes her feel prettier. Fan gotcha. mail is you. Gotcha. Makes sense. If honor people like you, then you're prettier. So then she feels better. Right? Yeah. Your stand comes down to like other people's perception of her. So right. it's no longer but it was for, for her. her, yeah. For her to have 150 people like her picture. That's a good, <laughs> okay. good diary for this week. Good diary. Yeah. yeah, we appreciate that. And to all the girls that emailed in do we have any questions that we want to reverse gyre on her out of those uh i can't think of anything any of the questions connor that, sh- that andrea just asked us we can turn back on her and get an honest answer out of a 
out of a female. Well, technically, I've been talking about every single one of them. What makes it it's true. Wait, an honest oh, statement from a that's female. That's a great is one. Josh added in what makes. We're going to reverse guyery this question. What are the four qualities that make a guy a good catch? Ooh, good one. A, de- a recently deceased dog. It's nice that you guys had <laughs> five in his own people house. to answer it yep, with you. Yep, it's all you. Well, you have Ginger, too. <laughs> all right, so just give us the one, then. We all gave one. Give one. She's just going to say an Adam quality. <laughs> no, they're all good qualities. They just <laughs> share she's, them she with says, me. She's like, well, um, Adam, what color are your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> His a name gentleman. has to be Adam. A yeah. gentleman. Being a gentleman. Having some chivalry. A true def- definition of gentleman is making everyone around them feel as comfortable as possible. I think that's a great quality is that no matter where they are and who they're with, everyone around that person feels comfortable. That, that actually right. is an Adam quality. Oh, that's nice. He is. Say Prince Tech. <laughs> says Prince Tech. Yes, <laughs> Adam's. I don't. I think Adam's still in a gesture. No, baby, you're jester. the king. I'm the uh, king. Wow, you yeah. went from jester or uh, not jester, yeah. leper. I you went from pulled, leper to leper king. to king. <laughs> wow, I pulled the sword out of the. St- All right. Anyway, I um, want that baby soon. <laughs> Why'd you look at me when you said Dude, that? That was creepy. You're you looked right at Tad. Oh, okay. I want your baby. I want that baby. <laughs> not my baby. You know, we talk you into it. Put oh. that baby batter in my oven and bake a baby. <laughs> <laughs> like the kitty cat? All right, well, let's get oh. out of here. Um, Connor, how can uh, how can our listeners follow you? What are your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, social media tags? Uh, my Twitter is Connor Hughes, C-O-N-N-O-R-H-U-G-H. Yes, at um, and then it's just VH1 after no space, and then my Instagram is same thing, Connor Hughes, but it has an underscore and then VH1. Sweet. All right. Cool. Uh, Josh, do you have anything you want to plug? No. Okay. Just your mama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. Like he wants to fuck her. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's funny. It's like just do her course. It's funny. I get it because it's of sex. I thought sex. we were talking about playing Christmas lights because it's Christmas time. That's what we. Yeah, that's what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> Glad you're on board. <laughs> Here's the joke. Have a seat wherever you like. Jay, what do you got? You got some shows coming up? Uh, uh, yeah, I've got a full list this week. Uh, this is probably gonna air after it, but I'll put it out there. Uh, Tuesday night, I will be at Patty Cassidy's in Cocoa Beach. Uh, Wednesday night, I will be headlining at Hogan's Irish Bar in Cocoa Beach. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I will be hosting at Gregory's Comedy Club for Jose Sardui. And uh, Sunday night, I will be at the Kilted Mermaid in Via Road God Beach. God damn, you have a busy schedule. Wow. Yeah. All right. Life of a stand-up. Just what saying. You want to help my... I'm sponsoring a show with Oh, that's my, right. With Ray. With Brent Allen Salon on Friday. Oh, you're looking for me to take it over? I don't remember. It's the ladies' the comedy date. thing. The dates. Hang on. No, that's... Dates uh, help yeah, out. Yeah, that's this Friday. That's going to be this Friday. I want to say it's the... Is that old school? Old time? Yeah, it's old school pizza midtown. Uh, yeah, I'll help plug this show. Old school pizza okay. midtown. Friday night is the all ladies comedy show. Uh, it is uh, Ray Brito's production. I don't know who's hosting it though. He's got a. Uh, it might be Paige Pisanza, but I'm not a hundred. The name sounds familiar. I think that's who he said um, it was. But yeah, it's uh it's gonna be an awesome show. A bunch of female, a uh, bunch of the lady comics here in Brevard County and Orlando coming out. It's gonna be a really good show. And, and sponsored with by my, with my uh, salon, I'm giving out prizes, and I've also we're a Paul Mitchell salon, and they have given me a whole bunch of goodies and samples to give out to all the audience members that are there. Nice. So oh, I know Paul Mitchell. He's there. from uh, he's from the Zohan movie. Yes. So next time you're having a shower, <laughs> he makes sex. everybody silky smooth. <laughs> They're very into helping everyone, and they have given me a whole bunch of products to give out to anyone who shows up. So come on very out, good. listen to some fun stuff, get some free products, enjoy some great food and drink. Well, awesome. be, I was about to say that it'll be like finger foods and stuff because like, you want to no, do what? Pizza. Depends That's on what you eat. That's disgusting, Connor, with. and I don't approve of that. At all. Finger foods. <laughs> <laughs> it all depends on what you eat it with. Uh, all right, Tack. How can they get a hold of us? I uh, think get a hold of us at uh, let's see on Twitter. You can get a hold of us at Podcarious. At Podcarious. At on there. Podcarious. And, of course, Facebook. And uh, we don't have an Instagram. Maybe we should. We don't even do anything with Twitter. we got to start actually I, doing I posted something on Twitter just it. today. I'm supposed to yeah. learn how to do that stuff. With oh, yeah. they also can get a hold of us at our phone number. Oh, shit, that's Talk right. What's about the number? We have a phone, phone number. number. We have yeah, a phone that's number right. now. Are we'll you going to edit all this out because we sound like a bunch of stupid blonde chicks? <laughs> What? Uh, sound like a bunch of daisies. Wait. Hang on, let me find the number. 
Okay, so, right, we, so we haven't... Go, yeah, ahead, go ahead. No, you take it. No, you take it. No, no, go ahead. I, no, you take it. <laughs> All right. All right. Both of you just kiss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you can call into the studio now live during recordings. Uh, the area code is 321-392-0595. Yes, it doesn't spell anything, and that was the nicest sounding number we could find. So that's what we went with. Uh, call in live during the show or call leave us a voice message if you want us to play something that you said or want us to participate with. And that's the typically show. Uh, Monday nights between like 9 and midnight. Usually, yeah. Usually, that's we'll our post time. Follow us on the uh, social media, and then uh, we'll let you know. If you want to email a question in for the diary, or just to talk with any one of us, send it to show at livingpodcuriously dot com. Uh, I think that's it. That's it. God, man. There's this girl on my Instagram, and her eyes are like way too far apart. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll end so on that's that. that's a bad thing. <laughs> but yes. close together is too bad. I don't know. Her forehead's big too, so it's like it really. Just so adds. where are your eyes, your forehead supposed to be? So stay tuned next week to hear the That's answer to this bad. question <laughs> it's a on whole, the diary. It's like one of those. You won't believe what happened next week on Rocky and Bullwinkle. <laughs> All right, are guys. Your too close together, are your eyes too close together? Thanks for. Far oh, apart? her eyes are too far apart. All right, we're gonna end right there. Find Fine. out the proper proportions and inches that you need to measure, girl. See you guys next week on Living Podcast. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Have See? a great week. They're bad. Lay it.